Okay, everyone, are you ready for another exciting episode of Warhams? Warhams. Hello, everyone. Woof. Welcome back <laughs> once again to Warhams, the tabletop eating simulator. No, this is the tabletop game. Uh, where we play a tabletop game. Are you guys excited? I sure am. Let's go down the list of the people we have here today. So, starting from directly below, me up top here, uh, we have Zoran the Player... So, oh, jeez. Zoran the Zorin Bear. Zoran the Player! Zorin, you're a he, player now. He's a Zoran the Bear, uh, playing the funny little man. Baron Stackwall. I am a rat catcher with the best person in the team, Little Nugget, which everyone can now pet. Pet a doge. Look at a doge. Just below him, we have the tall, gold haired, gold toothed, gold elf. Gold elf, yes. I am Speaker D, and I am playing Mercurian, the AI Elven Noble. <laughs> He's not evil, I don't know why I'm doing it. Because you make every elf sound evil, Speaker. That's Speaking right. of evil elves that are not actually evil, and I'm saying that because it's funny. Below that, we have the red haired, rambunctious, and round. Round. Whoa. Whoa. Round. Whoa. Wow. Damn, um, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Ziliana Stonebloom. Hi, I'm Odoroshi, playing Ziliana, the elven squire and resident big lady. Correct. And she so far has killed one more thing than me. I need to fix that. And I am Erndil. I am playing uh, Arnold Fleischman. He is, uh, in, he is a, a witch hunter wannabe that is trying his damnedest to... Get Baron to safety, despite Baron's, you know, well, despite Baron, really. Yeah. Which is an unfortunate detriment to us all. Yeah. <laughs> and the feller leading us off is the ever talented, the ever uh, trying to hex us, and the ever chosen. Oh, 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 hello, it's me. Uh, it's it's me, Thirsty, on call GM. And I, I am, uh, wow, I'm like Archeon now? That's cool. That's sweet. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I like yeah, that I'm going, going to, to kill, kill from the north and end this campaign. Because yeah, that's oh, what's going to happen. Oh. I mean, depending what the difficulty <laughs> level is, sometimes those chaos invasions are actually pretty garbo. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And with that, with that welcome back, everyone. Um... As kind of our little precursor things that we usually say, uh, one, we're using Foundry for our platform here. We're also playing on the uh, Warhammer Fantasy 4th Edition game, because some people usually get completely confused if they didn't see the first episode when we explained it. And also, just remember, uh, this is a little bit more rulesy than what we usually do. So if we do mess up a rule and stuff, please don't lose your, lose your shit over it. Uh, we're all human. It's kind of hard to memorize a book, so please understand that. We might either bend some roles to kind of fit the campaign and the story to kind of uh, fit it in the way that we need to, or just, you know, just make sure there's more fun than just torture. Uh, along with that, I think the last time we left off, the pieces began their journey at the coach in the horse's couch coaching inn, looking to make their way to the city of Altdorf. There, they managed to get some rooms and met with the proprietor, Gustav Fondelberger. We all remember Fondelberger, right? Remember him very fondly? Yeah. How very could you forget? Fondly. That's right. <laughs> boo, boo. He's secretly the bee bag. They managed to get passage on a coach onto Altdorf, traveling along with the noble Isoldi von Schuldorf and her retinue, the Bretonian card player Filippi Descartes, and the scholar Ernest Heidelman. On the road, our heroes came across a mutant, which apparently Baron Stockwall knew of, in that sort of Mutant was chewing on a coachman's corpse in the middle of the road. The mutant rushed the party and was eventually taken down by Ziliana's blade. Following this, Ziliana headed off into the woods to fetch the horses and eventually stumbled upon a gruesome sight. And Thurston, what sight do we see? Well, let's oh. let's uh, let's pull up the uh, let's pull up the old map here, shall we? All right, Ziliana, 
you have gone off in search of the caravan uh, horses and eventually found your way to the, the ruined remains of another caravan. As you've, you've sort of come out into this clearing, you can see now that you are surrounded by a variety of, of bodies and the smashed rem remains of a carriage. As you have now like heard the rustling in the woods, you, you've looked around to see four figures and then a, a looming shadow further in, into the woods to the northeast. Uh, what you what you see around the the overturned core uh, coach here are two of the horses that are desperately trying to struggle to get free of their harness and one creature with a large body and an incredibly small head that looms over the horses with a like massive axe that they have brought down in an attempt to take down these these horses um and yeah so you see you see this uh right by the horses and then further up you see uh two two figures uh, immediately north of you one of them is a human with a dog-like head who is lying and screaming next to some of the wreckage blood pumping from a wound in his leg while another similar mutant with a pointed head is trying to bandage this uh this dog-headed uh, mutant's wound and finally a fourth one with with cloven feet and a slightly strange spiked head is feasting on one of the bodies right in front of you uh you can see also further down what appears to be a larger uh fellow readying up a crossbow clearly having having prepared for some sort of combat and you, you've you've noticed that some of the bodies here have have wounds on them that have crossbow bolts in their back one of them that is oddly next to you in fact right beside you uh in in the brush here is a corpse that has two bolts in its back its head turned to the side and bears an uncanny resemblance to arno fleischmann uh with all of this going on we are going to begin combat now in this situation we are we are actually in a situation where various uh people are surprised so in this first round of uh of intensity mercurian you don't get to do anything because you're surprised um that then brings us to you ziliana as, as the next highest in in our initiative score you see that these four uh that are sort of standing these mutants uh they they've taken note of you but they're they're definitely shocked by your sudden intrusion into their clearing Oh, God. I, I feel like that gif of the guy walking in with the pizza into the flaming room. Uh, yes. <laughs> all right. So who all is surprised? Uh, so, so essentially everyone is surprised right now, except for you, because you oh. basically instigated this. Yeah. All right. That's bad. Um, I'm going to kind of see what's going on here. Um, see them feasting on these bodies, trying to kill these horses, and I'm going to shout over to my compatriots, looks like we got company, and just start booking it back toward the clearing, because I do not want to be stuck here. Uh, Absolutely. Remind me again uh, the distance of each square. Uh, so a dis, uh, each square is two yards. Two yards. Okay. Yeah. yeah but I'm if you use to... the uh, the ruler, it'll auto calculate that for you. Oh, so. excellent. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I have rocks for brands. Uh, oh, you are right. you are good. You are good. So you can and remember this woodland by you. We're going to treat that as difficult terrain, so it's going to have your regular movement. Okay. So that's going to be. Uh... But you are elf, so you're you're super yeah. fast. Two yards, you said. Uh, yeah, yeah, for every inch, basically. Okay, so that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Uh, that still gives me enough. Oh, right now, it's uh, sorry, four yards. So that would be twenty-four. I'd be back just a couple of spaces. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start making my way back toward the group, just shouting and gesturing in this direction. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. So carrying on, um, let's see here. Uh, this one should now be visible. All right. The fellow who had the crossbow clearly was also ready, it seems. Uh, and they are going to take a shot at you with their crossbow uh, from, from the sort of 
foliage line. In fact, they're going to, to spend their movement kind of rushing up beside their allies uh, and then raising up the crossbow and taking a shot. Now, this is going to suffer a penalty to strike at you um, simply because you are you are hidden and in under a, a fair amount of cover here. So, give me just one moment as I get all this going. And let's see what happens. Here we go. Uh, yeah, going to take a shot. It's going to take a minus uh, 20 penalty on this shot, just because you are you are in this sort of tree cover and you're, you're having a bolt coming straight towards you. Uh, so, whoop. Oh, oh, however, it will um, it will still strike you uh, on uh, your... Oh, yes? Go ahead. Uh, I do have a shield. Um, okay. Yeah, I can roll to uh, deflect with the shield, if I have a shield. That right. is correct, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, you want me to target him? Or... Uh, you can just roll, and then we okay. can do the, uh, the opposed test here. Okie dokie. Uh, just a regular challenging roll. Let's go. Ooh, that's, that's pretty a, bad. That's a dice that's horror. Horror. That is that is real, real bad. Um, but however, however, the the bolt uh, will strike you uh, in the the left arm as you're running this kind of precise bolt flying towards you. Um, and I believe, let us see here, this. Uh, this bolt slams into your side with a bonus of effectively plus two here. Um, so let's see, that's going to be an eight total for the, the damage on you, uh, and that's going into your left arm. So that is then going to be mitigated by your toughness bonus. Yes, And indeed. then your any armor you have in the left arm. Righty. Uh, well, that should be the shield arm, wouldn't it? Um, the left arm? Yeah, unless you're left-handed. You no, I, 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 I don't believe that, um, or the shield, I think, just adds, um, adds it to everything. Yeah, it oh, does. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah, on the left can... arm, that's, uh, six armor. Okay. All. Okay, so, so yeah, uh, so you'll take the eight damage, so you'll take two wounds from that. Crazy. Ouch! Oofers. His blood has been drawn from the, the, <laughs> the strike from the crossbow and out of the cover. All right, perfect. Um, that is that this mutant who has advanced up. Baron Stackwall, you are surprised you don't get to do... You hear the shout of your friend. That is your surprise oh, round. I All hear the these... ancient training call of danger and, and urgency. We've trained for this for the minutes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> um, all right. So that's that, 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 that one, that one. Arno, same thing. All right. We are now done with the uh, the surprises. Uh, Mercurian, you have heard your friend shouting. Uh, and in fact, can, can see the vague outline of Zilliana rushing out from the woods. What would you like to do? All right. I'm going to seeing that danger has struck and understanding that my friend Zilliana is in dire straits. I'm going to just call out to everyone. In case you haven't noticed, the problem has multiplied. Please by, aid. By how and much? A significant amount. I'll get back to you. And I am going to rush forward okay. next to my comp here. Hopefully okay. still within the cover of this foliage. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, seeing that she is in danger, I am intending on being essentially her, her defensive backup. Uh, if someone rushes at her, I am here to make sure she is not here alone. With my okay. rapier having, or rather my foil having the fast trait, I can strike even if I end my turn here. Yes. So you can basically take a free strike if someone comes in to, to harangle and or harass yes. you. Yeah. And she's actually next in initiative, right? Uh, yes. All right. In which case, I will actually be a little bit further back because I expect her to sort of retreat backwards. All right. Uh, that does bring us to, yeah, you, Zilliana. Yeah, back to it. Back at it again. Um, Guess who's back? Yeah, seeing Mercurian, I'm gonna give him a nice friendly punch on the shoulder. Uh, and then I'm going to 
<laughs> I'm gonna retreat back a couple of steps um, and kind of. They look like they're about to start chasing, right? Like they're. Uh, they seemed to... shocked when you last looked at them. Like you looked up, saw them, and it was like, oh, like they weren't expecting you to be there. Uh, what, the, what they're going to do now? I mean, one of them shot at you, so. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Zillion is going to do something like, about it? Exceptionally mm-hmm. happy, but there are uh, five of them and two elves. So, not exactly a fight I want to pick right now. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stand next to Mercurian and I'm just going to raise my shield, start banging on it. Oh, okay, yeah, like calling in sort of for for support. Excellent. Uh, okay, so yeah, you you start you start banging loudly on the shield in an effort to uh, to gain some support here. Oh, also, Lena Mercurian, just get behind me, stupid! I am behind you, idiot. <laughs> Don't want you getting hurt, man. Wait, no, 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 no. That man has a dog head. That man is a cone man. I know. I don't know what it means. Is that a human thing? I don't know. I have to. A- I'll ask them if the. I don't know. Okay. Excellent. Um, as 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 the that goes on, the the fellow, um, the fellow that is further back, uh, performs a. He, uh, range test and reloads. Oh, in fact, no, fails to. Uh, like, is attempting to spend their time, re- like, reloading their crossbow. Uh, they're having some trouble with it, you can tell. Uh, but the other four have yet to go. Baron Stackwall, you've heard the shield banging. You have heard your, your friends shouting, what are you doing? I, I heard the magical word crossbow, and not mm-hmm. the metagame. <laughs> yeah, I want that crossbow. He wants that crossbow's me. I, I obviously he hear, and I barely hear all the yelling and screaming. He goes, Nugget, stay in the car. Cart, thing. <laughs> and he will <laughs> rush forward. And uh, the issue, I think I can only run. In fact, I actually have to bring up, you know, Yieldy character sheet. You can run, run 12 yards. Well, you can make a yards? six squares. Oh, yeah, but Zoran, you can also do a sprint. Yes. Uh, Define to me sprinting, so which I can also know. Uh, okay. Sprinting is an action. Uh, Thurston, I believe it's your. It, it's a. It, is a it, it requires an average plus twenty athletics check. Uh, you move your run movement plus your success levels. Yeah. However, if you get a negative on your success levels, you actually uh-huh. move less. Oh, I'm dun, not doing dun, that. Dun. My athletics is 24. <laughs> oh, yeah. there. So fair. we're just, just going to move 12, guys. I'm just going to go. Yeah. <laughs> it's all just basically legs. be up here. Just <laughs> yeah, rushing into some cover there. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. And that is uh, the end of my go. OK, perfect. Um, so the the one that is tending to his friend has stopped tending uh, to to his wounded friend. Uh, the the pointed head fellow. Oh gosh, what is this one? Ah, excellent. Uh, the pointed head fellow seems to look up slightly, not not necessarily shocked, just uh, kind of interested in in everything that's going on. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stimuli happening here right now. Um, this this character doesn't exactly know what to do off the top, so they are going to uh, make an intelligence test because they have the stupid trait. Oh, and uh, do get to act too. normally. So Conehead here yeah, looks he went to up. College. Yeah. Conehead. Um, and and just makes like a a, a rush, a a charge uh, into the foliage. Let's see if this is even going to work for this fellow. Uh, that's actually not too bad. Even with the uh, the terrain, it'll be enough. Uh, yeah, gets up and well, gets, sort of stands up from crouching and rushes towards you, Mercury. And you can take your attack on. I would love on this nothing more. As as the, the, they rush in. All right then. Well, a pleasure, fun to seeing you here. I don't have a one liner. I just have a sword. All right, a 30 on the dot. That's a critical hit. And it's Blah, and he attempts to, yes. It's four uh, because of yes. 
he attempts to um, he attempts to bat at you as well. Uh, I won't put in the penalty because technically you both have penalties for fighting in trees, but I'll just not do it on him. So it balances. Uh, he does have a point of advantage now, though, because he did charge. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Oh, shizzle. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Um, I'll so- spend a fortune to add one to my success level. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so you win by one. So uh, what is your damn? Well, actually, you'll also get the crit. So you'll hit him in the right arm. Yes. Um, with so that's ten. Be, be a deep cut. A oh. deep cut. Bleeding condition and stunned, which doesn't matter because your your blade slices through uh, the 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 this this left arm going into the shoulder and a gout of blood comes out it sprays conehead in the face who lets out a kind of mewling yelp almost path- like pathetic before he stumbles down quite dead oh. anyone else gentlemen you did it you murdered a man literally everyone else now is going to murder you <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Axeman uh, seems to take, like, umbrage to this and rushes forward as well. That's um, just his opinion. It, it, it is his opinion. <laughs> his, his opinion comes with, you know... Oh, actually, so, my, my apologies. The Pinhead Man also must make an intelligence check. Give me one moment here. Uh, uh, we'll see it. if we'll see if this even happens. Oh, it does. It does. Um, so yeah. Pinhead comes rushing towards you, waving this immense axe and bringing it down as it uh, gets close to you um, with his one point of advantage for charging. Ooh, that is absolutely terrible. How would you like to uh, right. defend well, Mercury? Well, with my uh, one point of advantage as well, <laughs> and my uh, oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god, my god, right. my god. All right, cool. Uh, so with my uh, this shit going on, let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. Oh, very A good. Uh, five degrees of success for I believe eleven damage. Uh, oh, wait, well, you no. don't. This is this is just defending. You don't. Dude. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm thinking yeah. of the crits on defense. I'm mm-hmm. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> My apologies. That's good. So you managed to 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 fend him off, uh, thus gaining another point of advantage as well. Um, and this one is sort of locked in with you. Uh, all right. So that then brings us to uh, the the prone one who spends their action getting up off of their, their wounded uh, situation and sort of readying themselves to join into the fray at a later time. And then the the one who's feasting on the corpse uh, seems to, to rush towards you, Ziliana, through the brush. It appears that this one this mutant, because of its its strange legs, has incredible speed. And so it's able to rush through the forest, no problem, oh. um, making its way towards you uh, and attempting to strike at you with its weapon. And we will see how this goes. Um, in this case, I am going to impl- apply the difficult. So when you make your counter, just uh, set the difficulty to minus 10, because basically there's trees and stuff in the way that are ah. causing causing difficulty here. Uh, I'll get a 61 against you. Uh, let us see. Can you defend against this? We'll see. Let's go. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Excellent. Um, yeah. Uh, so you manage to to re- repel this off, thus gaining yourself a point of advantage as well. You did it. Yes. As I you are it. both sort of fending off these these two horrific creatures. All right, good. You're doing it. Okay. Um, that is all of that for those guys. Arno Fleischman, you are up. You've heard these sounds as well. What are you doing? Well. I'm going to do what any upstanding human would do in this situation and move 16 yards. <laughs> <laughs> Please I'll rush you this forward one. towards your friends. Okay, absolutely. To, so. yeah. yeah, there you Thank go. Thank you. There you go. Awesome. That's yeah. it. So you, Good luck. So you're rushing forward, Arno. Are you shouting anything as you're heading towards your friends? Nope. Arno is being completely silent. He is going to attempt to reinforce quietly. All right, Mercurian, you you are now up. 
Alrighty then. How heavy is this man's armor? Um, it looks like fairly, fairly strong. You would say fairly strong. All right, I yeah, think in it this looks case, heavy, heavy armor in of this... some kind. Like it's, it's kind of like tattered and like not, not. It wouldn't be usable by someone else, for example. It seems fairly custom, but it's got plating all over it. Ah, I see. And yes. so it's different from the one this guy was wearing. Uh, yeah, yeah, like they're they're all basically like using kind of haphazard equipment that they've pieced together. And these are very clearly people who don't have like a lot of goods, except for maybe that fine crossbow in the back. Uh, I could tell that they weren't very intelligent on the basis that they had the stupid rule. I will bravely make an attack mm -hmm. with my dagger. All right. A more practical solution is in order. Uh, I am going to go on ahead. Let's see what happens. Okay. 45, yeah. that is two degrees of success on the right leg. This one will attempt to defend. We will see what happens here. It does not have that anymore, so. Oh, no, 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 very terrible. Um, so, right. yes, you do 10 points of damage to the right leg. Uh, so you stab into this thing's right leg with your dagger, which causes a, uh, a jet of blood to come out. Clearly, this one was wounded as well, and the wound that you have now dealt has been grievous, and you see him, like, look down in shock as your dagger has put itself in his thigh, and he kind of drops his axe to clutch it before collapsing down. Yes. Nice. I'm gonna call out next. Okay. Nice one. Uh, Ziliana, you. you are up. Um. Yeah. Following in my my friend's stead, I'm going to uh, ruin this guy's day, and I give him okay. a whack. Okay. My hand weapon. Uh, minus ten because of the trees. Correct. Yes. Excellent. Let's go. Ooh, not okay. great, 73. Okay, uh, there is going to be the, the attempt at a uh, counter again with the minus 10 for this one as well. Ooh, uh, the, ah. the, the, the mutant manages to, to knock your weapon back, uh, appears to have gained gained a point of advantage over you, and you will lose all of your advantages, Ileana, as you failed that test. All right, so the you bastard. feel the combat is somewhat, somewhat turned against you as this mutant beats back your blow. Meanwhile, further out in the forest, uh, the, the fellow by the horses has, has finished reloading the crossbow and this time takes aim up at Mercurian. Let us see what happens here. He wants to get rid of his advantage. Oh no. He does. Uh, Not my advantage. Yeah. Boop. Boop. Okay. All right. Oof. Uh, uh, anything right. I can do to defend from this ranged attack? Uh, no, not you got a shield. Sorry, buddy? for some reason it, it had it reloading from last round. That shouldn't have been the case. He um, he should be reloaded. It's just weird ism there. Um, but he will strike you with three degrees of success. So that will be uh, nine uh, points of damage to your body, Mercurian, as a bolt slams home into you. Ooh, quite nasty. Uh, I will be taking a good few bits of damage, as I okay. am not especially well armored, um, but I'm still up. Okay, uh, as as the end, you will lose all your advantage uh, oh, as it strikes you, and then like as he as he takes the shot, you hear this retreat, retreat. No, uh, no. <laughs> he shouts. Um, okay, so that's him, uh, Baron Stackwell. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the crossbow saying he dares fucking retreat? Is that the asshole right there running away with my crossbow? Yes, yeah, 30 yards is, away. His name is Nude. I hope you have five other maps as I track this fucker down. <laughs> Mission objective, kill Nude. So Zorin, Zorin charges this man no. into an ambush and dies. Yeah. <laughs> Just fucking drag the fucking icon straight there, man. <laughs> Teleporting dwarf. Absolutely. Where are you? Okay, so I think because of half terrain, I can only get like here. I'll just go along. Go, damn. go, go, go along the the outer edge, running along the road. <laughs> yeah, I see. Absolutely. But I, I, 
I, I assume I could, uh, because I'm moving the, I'm running. I, that's all I can do, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're, you're doing that. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. all I can do. Um, you're, you're continuing to catch up. All right. Um, that's that. All right. That, that poor man is dead. So that's, the, that poor man is dead. Uh, the one with the, the one with the, the axe who has now stood up is, uh, ooh. Is, is having a difficult time, unsure what to do, and kind of just moves up there, like ready there with their weapon readied. Uh, that's that one. Um, the one with you, Ziliana, spends their point of advantage to disengage, uh, basically like rushing back um, to to beside their, their their leader with the crossbow. Arno, you are up. So a question, how yes. much does the forest impede me? Uh, so basically when you go through a, a square of forest, it counts as two. So it like doubles the, the amount. Damn, so I can't get yes. anyone. Unless you want to try that athletics test. Uh, not great, Ew, being honest right. with you, because my athletics is also a 26. Yeah. Uh. I mean, really, there's nothing much to be gained from this. I'm going to look. Uh, I'm going to look southward, if at all possible, to see if there's anyone moving up on us. OK, OK. Um, you can give me a uh, perception. Yeah, you can give me a perception check. Plus 20. Plus 20. I will give you an eight. Uh, so you don't see anything to the south. What you do hear is something off further to the east, past this this downed coachman corpse here. You you think you're hearing like hooves, like approaching horses. Okay, so I look eastward to see these supposed horses. Are they around a bend or are they just down the road? Probably around a bend. You can't see them down the road, but you're definitely starting to hear this this approaching sound of horses far off in the distance. Hmm. All right. Well, there's not much to be gained from that at the moment, and I can't change it, chase anyone. So, are you gonna move up just to support your friends, or? Yeah, I'll, I'll move up in case something comes up and tries to do an outnumbering. I'll move right there. Absolutely. So yeah, you rush up, and you get now you get a sense of what's going on. You see the two sort of mutant corpses at the at the feet of your allies. You see the one sort of dog beastman who is pulled back, uh, and then the further one with the the strange legs, and then the the fellow with the crossbow. Beastman. Yeah. 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 Uh, Mercurian, here go. <sighs> you bloody morons! Do you have any idea how expensive this tunic was? Um. I'm deliberating how I would like to go about seeking my revenge. Um, these gentlemen all look wounded. Is that correct? Uh, basically, the the two that you just killed and the one straight uh, to the north of you and the other one, basically the one with the crossbow looks fairly unwounded, but the other two have all got like some severe cuts and bruising on them. All right. Uh, I'm going to look at Ziliana. Do you want to make it a route? I'm feeling a route. I think that's the best course of action. Let's go. Be careful, please. Excellent. Good day. And there he goes. Okay. I will charge. Uh, that will not be a charge because it's not uh, more than your move. It ah. has to be your movement or more. So you will advance ah. into them. Yes. I will power walk then. You will stride very well. Uh. Good day. It snarls with its bestial face at you and raises its weapon to attempt to defy you. Oh, and it does. Oh, it oh. and it crits you. <laughs> oh my God, does it? Yep. Yeah. Oopsie, didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, no, you're good. Uh, in fact, <coughs> Erndil is now responsible for uh, like jarring your uh, your yeah. left arm. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> so I I'm going, I I'm going to... Oil. I'm, well, I'm going to, to ask you a very important question here. What arm is your foil in? Are you right or left-handed? I am right-handed. Okay, okay. Chat, 
remember this. Um, <laughs> but you will take you will take one wound from from that. It does basically uh, the crit effect happens, and then you take whatever the wound is. So you just take one wound. Yeah, uh, that's enough. not mitigated at all. Um, and yeah, just like you feel this like like backhand of the the weapon it's using hit you in the underside of your arm, and you feel your bones sort of reverberate from that. Uh, and then this fellow gains point of advantage. Cool. Uh, well, I hope he enjoys it. He probably will. All right, Ziliana. <laughs> disengage and run away. <laughs> oh, Macaria, not your bones. <laughs> my bones, Ziliana, my bones. It's bones. <laughs> got me in the bones. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. That's four, eight, twelve. Uh, so if I'm sprinting through the woods, can I okay. go turn on this guy? <laughs> uh, I, I, okay, so like it's basically about like momentum, right? Uh, yeah, so I now, now, oddly enough, charging like it's weird and like it, in this case, you're not going to because you're you're having to rush like straight towards him. Uh, yeah, understandable. Have a nice day. You will get outnumbering bonus though. Correct. <laughs> uh, all right. Seeing my poor friend Mercurian get his bones scrambled. Um, I'm just going to run up and I'm going to bash this guy. Okay. Uh, absolutely. Uh, outnumbering gives me plus 20. Plus 20. That's Excellent. correct. I say quickly re-pulling up the combat rules to be like, no, remind good. myself. <laughs> Here, I'm going to share this to all of you. Um, oh, that's a 28. <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay, so yeah, so you are outnumbering, and you included the plus 20 in that, right? Uh, yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, this one's going to to try to defend. It has its point of advantage, so we'll see. Can can little Mikhail the Beastman hold out? He's got a name. No. Yeah, of course they do. Oh, no, oh. no, no. Oh, no. Uh, they, you do not suffer a fumble on the defenses, though, so there's, there's that bonus. Um, all right, so 14 damage to the right arm. You come out and lop off this thing's right arm. It just flops to the ground. It stares its bestial face moving to the stump, back to you, back to the stump, and then falls down quite deadened. All right. I'm going to point my sword at the running ones, bang on my shield. Where do you think you're going? Uh, okay. Um, Away, so, according to Knud. Yeah, uh, Knud is Knud is is having some difficulty here, and will like start to move away to the utter extreme of the map here, um, but also then spends an action to try to uh, try to reload. Uh, so I'm actually, I've actually got this right now. I see how the reloads work in this. Hooray. Um, and does manage to reload his crossbow as he is uh, pulled back. He reloads it impressively. Impressively reloads the crossbow. Uh, like looking over at the elven murderers and desperately trying to have at least some kind of weapon that he can utilize. Uh, Baron, uh, you can hear far off in the distance the, the clattering of a loading crossbow. Red eyes glaring through the forest, target locked. <laughs> oh, I can do. Or, okay, that's a, that's moving a up. Yeah, yeah that's, it's attack, a different terrain than that. You could try to hit this guy. I'm spending my next I'd be action shooting just through a forest Baron. and all that other shit. It's, no it's only minus. It's only minus twenty. It's only yeah. minus twenty. I mean, even if might as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like you, you don't really lose anything except for a pellet. If I'm gonna be allowed to, sure. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Wacky. Yeah, do it. See what you're in, you're in like you're in red eye mode. You're right, coming what? with the the sling swinging. Actually, I think you get a twenty for being close. Yeah, short range. What am what am I minus what? Uh, you're minus twenty for just throwing it through the woods. So there. just a normal roll then. Yeah. Huh? That's a uh, that's a ninety nine. Good. Thank you for all the faith, everyone. I'm so happy. Oh, you can always spend together. a fortune point to retry and, it. Uh, and, and all this stuff. It's it's really cool. No, I'll just take the failure. It's fine. I, I yeah. fumbled. And, I mean, honestly, and, that's probably the best failure you could have gotten. Yeah, I was yeah. waiting for like you brain yourself in the head, and then Zorin turns to all of us. I'm so glad you made me make that <laughs> yeah. attack roll, you fuckers. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
No. In, in, instead, you, you loose the rock in your red rage mode, but like realize you don't have a good grip on the sling, so your next action uh, suffers a penalty of mine. If only the, the, well, the bastard died and dropped the crossbow to me to use instead, instead of this <laughs> fucking sling. We're working on it. Meow. It's all Meow. right. Meow. Um... Okay, this this one here, the one with the legs, like has looked back to Nudu is like shout retreat, retreat, but then sees Ziliana just utterly take down uh this this like this poor fellow and shouts out, thus giving you the name Mikhail, and like rushes uh towards you, Ziliana, in an effort to try um to try to take you down. Oh, that was your friend? I'm sorry. Uh, that so, has to be done. So, <laughs> yeah, this one comes at you with weapons uh, raking in an attempt to strike at you. Oh, shit. Ooh. Okay. Uh, hey, four, oh, 15, 15, so three degrees of success. How are you defending, Ziliana? Oh, yeah, my. I am. All right. How I'm can you possibly am. defend against such a good rule? Uh, he uh, comes with his, like, cloven feet rushing. <laughs> Oh, wait, do I have a point of advantage from getting rid of that guy? Uh, you Does should, yes. You okay. should You should have a I point should, of advantage. I should have yeah. a point of advantage. Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try my bestest with okay. mine shield. The uh, goat legs, man. Uh, just, yeah, reg yeah, just a regular. Ah, uh, almost. Oh, oh, you won. oh bang! Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so I'm there's the clang on the shield. You'll get another point of advantage for that. There is sort of the shock. This 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 mutant clearly thought he was going to be able to get the slip on you and and get close, but a lack and alas, no no luck. Arno, you Sorry. are you are now up. From behind, all three of you, you hear belted out, mutant scum. Oh yeah, and then you. You uh, rush this one, absolutely. He's running up and he's going to attempt to bash him with the spike truncheon. He's not able to charge because forest. Yeah, goat legs turns to see you like like Terminator power walking through the forest with the truncheon. Uh, remember, you'll get a plus 20, uh, but you'll actually be at um, plus 20 minus, uh, minus 10 because of the difficult terrain. So basically, I'll just give myself one point of advantage and call that. Yeah, game. yeah, and then just take it off. Yeah, yeah. Because there's not ten advantage. advantage one. <laughs> ten advantage, my god. Oh, close this thing again. Hold on. You're good. You're good. Bloody uh, thing. A bloody, bloody character sheet. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, and then you targeted. come up. Yes. And then you come, come through the woods and strike with your truncheon. He swings, uh, and it's a marginal failure. Fifty-two. It's marginal, but we'll see how badly he does. Oh, that's a, oh, that's oh, he rolls a hundred, which is a fumble, takes 13 points of damage to the body, which is absolutely more than enough to kill him. I want to see what the fumble is. Uh, oh, yeah, totally misjudged, leaving you out of position. Uh, um, first would, thing, may I? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Keeping in tie with this supposed fumble, even though it's a defense, so fumbles don't count. Mm -hmm. I would like the idea that he wanted to dodge and thought he would dodge me by leaning forward, but only does is lean forward and let me brain him. <laughs> Ding. Yeah, I, I just assumed that this, this mutant came out and was so focused on Ziliana, had no idea you were coming, and you just walk out of out of the woods, and yeah, he attempts to dodge, trying to find a way, and your truncheon just cracks the skull of this thing. Uh, the mutant goes down. Mercurian, you are now up. What would you like to do? <laughs> <laughs> Let me pick up my phone. All right. I will have... Sweet, sweet revenge, knave! And I will charge this man. Okay. For that is above my walk speed. Absolutely. And within my run. Excellent. So him targeted. Ooh, ooh. Remember me, knave! You should. You just shot me. With a 41 with three degrees of success. Okay. Uh, you yeah, you you come in and he attempts with any, any any attempt to dodge out of the way. Oh, no, quite, quite not. Uh, so you do 13 points of damage to his right arm, a, a slashing wound. This one appears appears like when you when you strike him, 
you can see up close this fellow has like thorned almost like reptilian skin so as you strike you realize that your weapon isn't quite as effective because his skin is almost acting like armor targation uh, um so yeah you're, you're gonna lose just a bit to, to that uh, but he takes a, a severe blow, staggers back, looking incredibly wounded from that. Well, if you didn't like that, you're going to hate the other one. And I'll pass uh, the initiative to Ziliana. Yeah. Curian, where are you going? Oh. All right, I'm going to charge. <laughs> I just set <laughs> like, 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 up that one liner for you. It was going to be really <laughs> cool. I, I, I have this like image of you skipping happily with the sword in like <laughs> this this fanciful murder charge. They figured it out. They got it. It's all good. I don't know why, but it reminded me of uh, I can't remember the movie's name. Save my life, but it's the one that goes chosen one, and there's just I'm coming. Come <laughs> out. <laughs> I am not oh. by the name. All right, let's murder poor poor nude here. All Kill right, Frederick Nudson right now. No, no, <laughs> not like no. this. No. But no, the new down the rabbit hole. Send All him right. down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Go. No. All right. Yeah, I'm going to charge up beside Mercurian and so, just slash this man. So right. you get a point of advantage and then you get another plus 20 because you are outnumbering. Oh, uh, but you are minus you are minus one technically because of the woods that are around. You. OK, so we'll just subtract one success level because I'm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right. It's a plus 20. Let's go. Oh, OK. This, this uh, poor, so it's going to be five degrees fellow. of success. This poor fellow, he attempts to doge out of the way. Will he doge? Will he doge? He will not doge. Oh, uh, oh buddy. Once again, you rush through. He's like turning to, to deal with Mercurian and you come through the woods and just bring your blade down, severing again his arm. His right arm comes flopping off, turns in a moment. Again, the spray of blood that hits the trees looks wide eyed at you before stumbling back and falling down quite dead. Ah, 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 I don't have a one-liner. Mercurian, give me a one-liner. Excellent. I'll point at him. And don't do it again. And there we go. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> and we high-five. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. I'm going to lean down. I'm going to pick up the crossbow. Baron, I think you'd like this. The small but vicious dog was barren the whole time. My god. Uh, yeah, I, I <laughs> eagerly hand him the crossbow. I haven't got much use for one of these. Okay. Do I receive a perfectly intact crossbow? You receive a perfectly intact crossbow. I check the body for bolts. Yay! Uh, there are a grand total of drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, uh -huh. 13 bolts. Whoa! Excellent. Well, you can shoot your gun 13 times. Can you That's add them to my, my character sheet? What was that? Can you add them to my character sheet? Like just drag and drop? Oh, yeah, yeah sure. Actually, you I want to test You should be able to. Yeah, you should be able to do it off of his character sheet to mine. That's what I'm. I just want to see because that'd be that'd be that'd be friggin' cool. Is what that would be. Yeah. yeah. Oh hell okay, yeah! There it is. Bam, bam. There's your bolts too. Thank you very much. Uh, should be all right. Down as one. this occurs, Mercury is just going to take take a step back as this because <laughs> his chest is very hurt. Uh, fortunately, it seems to mostly be a flesh wound, but uh. oh. Oh. Oh no! Oh, that's bad. Yes, well, I'll be fine so Don't long pull as I. It out. I'm not going to pull it out. I'm just saying we should check these bodies and. Oh my God! Arno is dead. Wait, oh, Arno's, yes. Arno's right and there. And in fact, as you as you shout this, uh, you realize Arno, you are you are standing right by the. <laughs> in fact, your problem, Mercurian's probably looking at you, Arno, saying Arno's dead because the body at your feet is the one that looks like uncannily. Like Arnold Fleischman. I put a hand on Arnold's shoulder. I'm so sorry about your twin brother. <laughs> um. <laughs> so it's real. Not, I don't have a twin brother. 
<laughs> Real quick, uh, there is one other thing we we have to do here. Uh, I require each of you to give me a challenging endurance or cool test. Your choice, whichever you prefer. What was the first one you kind of glitched out? Endurance or cool? Okay. I can be cool. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> uh, my cool is much higher. Let's go. Uh, uh, is it challenging fail. or average? Challenging. Uh, this challenging. Is challenging. Nice yep. 100, Mercurian. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Not even fine. Juliana is fine. Cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, in this case, you have now encountered the, the corruption that is the mutant kind. And seeing them has left, has left a mark on all, except, of course, Ziliana, who is a perfect uh, butterfly who is not phased by anything. But the rest of you, uh, Arno, Mercurian, and Baron, you each gain one point of corruption. Good. Mm. I'm very mm. powerful now. That was a little spooky. Finally. I had fun, though. Did you have fun? I did not have fun. I am shot in the chest. Oh, right. We should but do something about that. that come here, come here. Shot. Okay. But first, first, we must secure the <laughs> scene. Come, come here. Right. We need to see if they have any money. Uh, you, 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 are now, you, you are now hearing, all of you are hearing the sounds of horses. They are perhaps, like, minutes away. I will, um... Baron will look at Arnold going, Hell, you know what? I help me find the horses as they deal with the dead things. These mutants make me sick. He's gonna do that. He's gonna help out with the horses. After we get the horses, we can burn their corpses later. Goodbye, elf. We're gonna find the horses that were lost. And I and I go to the I assume I hear them and I start going to the direction of uh yeah 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 so so the horses um like your horses I should say because uh, the two horses that are beside you are the um the the horses that belong to whatever coach you were stumbled upon in this clearing uh Baron you can quickly come over to here where you find both of your horses sort of in this this portion of the forest just grazing kind of come up doing some. Crocodile Dundee with two fingers out doing a wave, going, hello, oh, date. Time to go back to the cart. And I assume they're calm and they don't, you know, hate me or anything. Would you like to give yeah. me a charm animal at plus 20? Absolutely. Because I have a 65 in that. Mm -hmm. Damn. Get it. Yay. I got yeah. exactly nice. a 50 out of 85. Yeah. The, both the horses look up. Kind of then, then of course, probably eye level looking down a little bit at you. They just sort of like nod as you you come and 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 bring them back to the uh, to the to the coach. Uh, yeah, I start bringing it. Yeah, start bringing it back to the coach, and I'm gonna yell at like, okay. "I got the horses! I bring it back to the cart." Thank you, yeah. Baron. No problem. And we just gotta bring them back in one piece. So as, as Baron is is doing all of this, um, Arno. Mercurian and Ziliana. Arno, I'll start with you. What are what are you doing? Because like Arno Baron's was going gone off. With, oh, Arno was he is with Baron. Okay. That was okay. what he was doing. Perfect. Yeah. So you you grab them and then you come back to the coach as well, uh, which is going to like as as Baron is sort of like bringing the horses back, giving them pats. Nugget like hops off the coach, gives like like a shake of his head, kind of lets out a excited yelp. Uh, Baron, you can hear from from inside the the bodyguard uh, of Lady von Strudeldorf. She peers her head out, looking and kind of with a gruff, uh, gruff accent, just says, uh, "Is everything all right now?" Hey, I'm Baron, and I hope you have I hope you haven't mistreated my dog while we were away. And uh, yeah, we slaughtered them all. And she just like nods and goes goes back in. Um, okay, cool. Arno, we'll come back to you in just a sec. Then let's uh, Mercurian and Ziliana. You're sort of still in the clearing with all of these bodies and whatnot. All right, now don't do anything until I'm sitting down. We need to take stock of these things, and I'd rather not do it with a giant gaping hole in my chest. Right, right, right. Uh, I saw one of them was bandaging his friend. I'm gonna look and see if he still has like bandages left on him. Uh, the bandages look like they were being made from like 
torn cloth and in uh, fact you can see like one of the uh one of the bodies here had clothing ripped off of it look looked like it basically was making uh it appears to be like an initiate of sigmar uh based on the robes uh that some of the the robes of the the sigmarite initiate were ripped up and, and used mm. uh any of them look particularly clean or Oh yeah, you could you could still you could still get some that that would work. Uh, are you looking what what kind of test are you looking to make here? Oh, I'm just trying to make a heal test on Mercurian to pull that bolt out of his chest and get it wrapped up. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you're probably looking then just to to heal wounds, uh, which is equal to your intelligence bonus plus your success levels. Cool. Yes, um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead. All righty. Uh, so, just a normal heal test. Um. Yeah, it's just it's just challenging here. Okie dokie. All right, targeting Mercurian. Uh. Oh. oh. Well, that sounds like maybe you should use a fortune oh, no. to reroll. <laughs> Very oh bad. no. Uh, I will. Uh, let me, let me just. Put, let me just. Let me just explain the, the the next paragraph. A failed healing test can potentially cause wounds. <laughs> on a, on an astounding failure, your patient will also I'm contract a minor a, infection. I'm gonna spend. A, I'm gonna spend. A we are up to one, two, three, one hundred in the yes. span of one hour. I'm yes, gonna spend very a good. Of course, you may you may uh, do do the re-roll as the kids say. I was gonna fucking die. Oh, oh it's a ninety-seven. <laughs> <laughs> Completely pointless. No. So, like, all of you hear, like, Mercurian's, like, terrible scream as he takes five more wounds from <laughs> Zilyana's attempt to heal him. <laughs> now, Zilyana, you want to be very careful. But... <laughs> oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not supposed to shove it in, Zilyana. I'm sorry. I, I pull it out. Like, no! <laughs> <laughs> this is the el elf version of operation <laughs> like <laughs> fix that fix that fix that fix that I'm trying I'm, I'm trying I'm really really glad we went for four combat classes Oh yeah, this is, this is, this is fantastic. Um, oh, no. Yeah, so so you are uh, you are are feeling like just utterly terrible right oh, now, Mercurian. Oh, no. oh Mercurian, uh, I'm so sorry. I that's um yeah, I know you are. <laughs> um, Arno. Is there a so, medic nearby? So I'm just now going to be stumbling with my chest, no, no, trying no, no, to no, hold no, no, pressure. No, 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 no. I'm going to be looking. <laughs> Investig. What? I reach. Grab them. No, 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 no. Hold so on. So as, as the, the elf, elf team here is having this uh, this lovely moment, uh, <laughs> Ar uh, Arno, you uh, you've turned leaving Baron to to get the horses back. You're, you you have this moment where you're kind of thinking of what you'll do next. But at this point, the the horsemen have now turned and come down uh, the bend, and you can see that there are five of them total, uh, one leading at the front and four behind. Uh, the one at the front, sort of uh, dark-skinned man who has a fine uh, set of armor and equipment that clearly denotes him as being uh, a road warden of the Empire. He wields a halberd over his shoulder and has like a, a fine brown horse and makes his way uh, towards all of you. It looks Terrific. awesome. It looks yeah. very nice. Uh, yeah, GM? The, the, yes. I would like to quickly do something. I, while we're having Arno just like walk back to check out what the hell the elves are doing, I'm just gonna have him like walk kind of up next to this corpse and wait yeah. as they're rounding the bend. Okay, yeah. 
Um, and and you can see that like this this fellow uh, has has the weapon over his shoulder, like riding with the other, uh, ride, riding the horse. And then he takes his hand off the horse, uh, sort of stows the weapon and like raises up his hand. Hello there. Hello. What's, what's going on here? Arno having the truncheon in the other hand, he will raise his his free hand to the uh, road warden and he will gesture to the dead body next to him of the other mutant that was savagely attacking the uh, guy in front, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a, uh, an ambush. Mutant. Ugh. Sigma, damn those things. He sort of hops off and uh, approaches towards you. I waddled uh, up next to Arno. Hi, hey, I'm Baron. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You can kind of like head over there. Uh, you can see that there is the sort of group of four that are now like stopping their horses. Uh, they're they're all like setting their horses down and, and getting off and taking a look. There are four of them uh, that are yeah, just like settling by the the further corpse. Um, the one that is sort of approaching towards you, Arno and Baron. Greetings, friends. My name's Magnus Flaster, a uh, sergeant of, of the, the Road Wardens. Arnold Flashman, interrogator for the Church of Sigmar. Hey, I'm Baron. <gasps> He's Baron. Yes, yes. I'm Baron. Yes, well, so uh, you were attacked by this this thing, and he like points with his weapon down at this this awful awful creature the remains of which like the i believe it was the leg that was torn off by ziliana still in the ground well not just that over in that over yon clearing that way we had a little bit of more people coming out to ambush us got two companions over there they're trying to fix each other up but they're a little wounded right now rest of the mutants very dead very dead and arnold will on the second one use the heel of his boot to stomp on the skull of this one yeah there's like like a squelching sound and and baron remember this is a person you knew as as he like puts his boot on the skull of this thing ah, i didn't like him anyway <laughs> <laughs> um uh, well all right uh, just, what what was happening in the clearing there and like magnus sort of like waves his hands this way come on Arnold like, will come along like after. Comes comes into the woods, um, has his men sort of approach. Like they're now looking over the uh, the corpses here. And hey, Macurian, you don't uh, look so I'm good. So, oh, jeez. Oh, Hi, Baron. Oh, I oh, no. am. Hi, Macurian. So I'm Baron. I know you are Baron. I know you are Baron. You tiny little I'm man. So, 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 I'm so so seen is like white. <laughs> 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 I'm uh, like really terribly trying to staunch the bleeding. We were just I'm like grabbing bringing... leaves and shoving yeah. them in. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Warden, do you happen to have any medicine on you? A bandage or something? We are not well suited for treating such wounds. Well, I, I apologize. I'm bit. not a not a skilled physician. My my sister, she is, but. Well, Good God's luck finding her. That's why I'm out here myself. And like you can hear chuckles from the the other four who are like sort of looking over some of the corpses. A few of them are moving around now. Um, one of them, uh, sort of a a fellow uh, with, I guess, um, a fellow with sort of like fine mutton chops has come and is using um using a like lantern to sort of light some of the darker parts of the forested area just to get a better look of things looks down at the body by your feet arno and then looks up at you and down at the body again and just like keeps doing that a little bit besides the more confusion too we're trying to work is, out exactly what happened here he doesn't have a twin your, brother i was about to say is that your twin because bad luck mate no first time i'm saying this can i pick up the dead guy's hat and see what it looks like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, like for for verisimilitude's sake, as you pick up the hat, the like lantern like shifts into our camera view. Uh, so we don't actually see the above head of this person because Arno's face is eternally a mystery. Um, <laughs> oh, that is true. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so you you pick up the hat. It appears to be like a different style of hat. In fact, as you you investigate this uh, this individual, you can see that uh, it, like probably some sort of town dweller, maybe an artisan based off of the uh, the equipment on it. Um, what you see, though, is coming out of the jacket pocket is a blood-stained piece of parchment that you notice as you turn it over, Arno. Hmm, what's nice. this? All right, we'll take <sighs> the parchment after uh, inspecting the hat and finding it to be of inferior quality to his hat. Absolutely. Putting it back on the hat as man. Okay, um, yeah, so... I am going to show this and hopefully it works. <laughs> Got it. Cool. Um, so you you see a, 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 a finely decorated bloody, bloody note, uh, which reads as follows. Uh, Messrs. Lock, Stock and Barrel, civil lawyers, commissioners for oaths, etc. Garten Wegg, Bogenhofen. Dear Herr Lieberung, after m many lengthy researches, we have come to believe that you are the only living relative of one Baronet Lieberung, late of the town of Ubersreich. This being the case, and any other uh, heretofore unknown and pertinent factors notwithstanding, I am herewith charged to inform you that you are the sole beneficiary of the late Baronet's last will and testament, herein referred to uh, as the party of the first part, as well as to to the entail of his titles, all lands and estates attached thereunto. I, the undersigned, acting in my capacity as legal executor of the aforementioned document of the party of the first part, do therefore urge you to make your way with all convenient speed to my offices at the address superscribed to this letter. Thereupon, and upon your production of a signed and twofold witnessed affidavit confirming your identity as Castor Aloysius Liberung, we shall be pleased to place into your hands the title deeds to Liberung Manor and all attached lands and estates and the bequeathed sum of 20,000 golden crowns imperial. I remain your most humble and respectful servant Dietrich Barl KCLLB Alt. Signed this 20th day of Nachen Hexen in the 2,512th year of the Empire. Hmm. Well, suppose he has no remaining relatives now. He's going to roll up the piece of parchment and stow it in a in a pocket. Okay. Were we all uh, looking at it while he was reading? I, I mean, like, Baron, if you were nosy as fuck, because I assume you're just, like, there reading. Oh, yeah, I don't I'm know if curious. you... Would, is it one of those cases of uh, Arno starts reading it, Baron walks up, Arno intentionally lowers the paper so Baron can I mean, read that, it? That's up to him. That's up to him. To yeah, no, no, that's what I'm wondering. Arno would... Um, only if it were pertinent after the first couple of lines would he share it with uh, Baron, and it is not pertinent, so he is not sharing it with Baron. Okay, so yeah, yeah you, you okay, finish reading it. it. Yeah, yeah, you come over to, to look, but like clearly Arno reads it and then then pockets it. Um, hmm. Are you... Uh, and are you like looking over the body at all else, or is that just it? You're just taking a look? Um... I mean, he's uh, he's going to, like, check to see if there's any other sort of items on him, not to loot him, but to, like, get an idea of who this man is beyond the name mentioned on the paper. Yeah, the only other thing you see is an, in uh, another coat pocket, uh, a piece of crumpled paper that looks like it was crumpled uh, during whatever scuffle took this man's life. Uh, on it, it reads, we, the undersigned, do solemnly swear and affirm that the bearer of this document is Castor Aloysius Liberung. And then there are some names listed, but you can tell that this would be the affidavit that was requested by the parties. Mm. I will attach the affidavit to the rest of the paper in the pocket. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so while Arno is doing this, Baron, you were kind of attempting to read. You can see that at this point. The, no, I mean, the he, road I, I don't see it, okay. so I just kind of go, oh, okay, and then it's I just okay. wait. Yeah, yeah, okay, so so what are you going to be doing, Baron? Like, like, you see that Arno's, like, reading this stuff. Some of the road wardens have started to, like, maneuver around. Uh, <laughs> that's actually a really damn good question. I have, he's just waiting at this point. Well, no, I, I guess I'll get back to the car, because there's nothing else for Baron to do here. And he'll 
start to okay, move the card up or ben, something. Make sure your dog's okay. Why don't yeah. you try? Do we have a? Sorry, I don't actually live in the Empire, so I don't know how true this is. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, if you fucking fight a bunch of bandits, it's legal to take their shit, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Baron, it might behoove our journey if we were to perhaps relieve these unfortunate, the unfortunate deceased mutants of whatever value. Take their shit, Baron. Well, you didn't do that already. I point. I point at the giant hole in my chest. <laughs> I, po and? I poke through it. And don't take don't anything. Put your finger in it. I, don't I take anything that'll make you sick or a mute. Fine, fine. Uh, Baron will go around it, and I'll basically start rummaging and putting all their stuff like in a pile. Like here's the scrap of armor. Here's this. Here's that. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Okay. So there's. The, what you're able to to obtain from from these individuals um, is a variety of uh, like very basic style weapons. Most of them are are, are barely like usable for you. Uh, what you find is you find a, a sword, uh, an axe, and then obviously the crossbow which nice, we have nice. uh, already uh, discussed. So these are all like just hand weapons. Um, so you find the equivalent of four hand weapons amongst all of the bodies. Uh, and then on Nude's body, along with the crossbow, you find uh, three gold crowns. Okay, and Baron will pocket them. <laughs> um, <laughs> of, of, of course he will. Um, three... I'm oh, sorry, my apologies. Two gold crowns, three silver shillings, and 13 brass pennies. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the, the crossbow and weapons, which you've already taken. And then a silver locket and a ring. Awesome. If you can throw those into my inventory, I will. we can sort them during the break. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, you, you, you basically just start, like quickly grabbing everything off of his yeah, body. Yeah, yeah. Those are the uh those are the the most important things that you're you're able to come across. Everything else is kind of uh not not particularly uh noteworthy, just sort of tattered rags. You do, however, um I'm going to regret this part. The downed coachman has some equipment as well, which you can you can claim, and the, the the road wardens even give you a bit of birth, kind of like like you keep what you kill. Um, actually, let's see here. Can all of you give me a plus twenty intuition test? Of course, into it, into it. I will do this. Into it. Here I go. Thirty two intuition. I got a one. Uh, just challenging you? Uh -huh. Yeah, just what? challenging. Yeah. Oh, I rolled me. a Merch. 21. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, thought you said, I thought you said plus 20, so it's actually just three degrees of success. Okay. Uh, any of you who have at least one degree of success can immediately tell that th all of the road wardens, except for Sergeant Flaster, are very much like, damn, we could have swindled these people and, like, bribed them, but, like, Sergeant Flaster is clearly a good man, and they aren't going to try any kind of underhanded or corrupt shit with him around here. Mm. So, like, when you guys go to, like, take this equipment, they're clearly like, oh, we could have had all of that stuff. But, like, Flaster's above a board and keeping them in line, and they won't fuck around while he's here. Okay, oh. you also find um, the coachman's body has a male shirt and a blunderbuss. Well, Ooh. guess what I just found? I was going to take that <laughs> blunderbuss. I look for ammo. <laughs> There's no ammo with it, however. That's fine. I got the I got the, the gun. Tool for later. Stow gun, and I also take the. I also I guess I undress him from the from the chain shirt, and I kind of oh, and I. And I look at it and I look over at Arnold and I go, uh, yeah, this would be good for him. And I kind of I, I still stow it all in. I'll distribute it once we're going. OK, OK. So here I'll uh, I'll pass yeah, you just, that equipment. Yeah, throw it all to uh, me and I can give it to them later. Mail shirt and the blunderbuss. Blunderbuss. Cool. 
thing. There we go. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, so you you start like going through uh, as this is going on, like Sergeant Flaster's like taken. He he comes up to each of you in turn, even though like obviously like your Ziliana and um, like Mercurian, you're both like heavily wounded, but like you're not critically wounded in any major state right now. Mm-hmm. So like you're still like enough to take some questions. You're not like bleeding out or anything along those lines. You're just like running ragged to the end, bruised and like a little bit bloody. Uh, but despite that, uh, Sergeant Flaster comes up and starts taking sworn affidavits from all of you just regarding what happened. Uh, he has a small uh, little like notepad with with some quill that he begins taking like statements from you regarding what happened mm. all right nice. so uh looks pretty clean here looks like mutants came uh, uh, on the one of them was on the road got your attention you went to go looking for your horses came upon all of this and then you right. uh, managed to overpower them is that correct yes indeed it is right. correct i i'm passingly curious actually um, these, uh, this coachman had the blunderbuss, and upon seeing that, I'm rather curious. Is this the same carriage that left the, um, hostel that we were recently at? No. No, okay. this is, this is a different, uh, different one. And you can tell from your vivid memories of almost being run, run down. Hmm. Uh, well, looks like we'll have to get these all ready for the doomsayers. Hopefully they'll be coming. we we'll get all this. Uh, all right, all of you. Get helping me. We gotta ride up these horses. We gotta ride up this carriage. We'll get everything good to go. Uh, all right, uh, uh, Sonna, if you can uh, l- deal with that horse, and like Sonna, like looks at the wounded horse that took the axe, and she kind of gives like a like a, a grim nod before she like has to put the horse out of its misery. Um, Aww, and then like clearly they like. <laughs> get the the carriage ready and the remaining horse that is with it and sort of like all right well this should at least be able to get us back we can have one of the the wardens ride it back to our next location here all right wait is the other horse okay yeah so dead? basically both of both of your horses are okay sorry I, there should be two tokens by your carriage You're, both of yours are fine they just ran off and got okay spooked. No, what I'm trying the to two, clarify. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. the sorry. two the two that were with the other carriage one of them got slashed by axeman they have to put that one down but the other one is is still alive which is enough for them to sort of like get it up get some of the the, the crashed carriage and, and you can tell that like sergeant flaster is starting to look at the um at the like the carriage that you've you've come across and realize uh, this is just too broken. We're we're not gonna have a way. Huh? Well, not Baron sure if any of you want a horse, but uh, yeah, Baron was I was about to say Baron will look at that horse and he will he will grab the horse and then bring it to Ziliana. Like, Here you go. Oh, hello, pretty. I'm gonna I'm gonna pet its little nose and. Oh. Right, yeah, I can, I can help bring this back. Uh, looking you, very. Do you want to give me a plus twenty charm animal to establish your relationship with this horse? Oh, animal. yeah. Let me charm that. 100. Animal. <laughs> How many moves does Ziliana take? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Ziliana away. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god uh the the horse like gives you just this deep like nod but you can even tell like through its eyes like this horse has seen some shit oh. <laughs> and so it's just very glad to to have any kind of like handler you're a little traumatized aren't you buddy have you got a name it like neighs in response <laughs> nay what a wonderful <laughs> name <laughs> What a pretty name. <laughs> yes. There you go. I, I just. Can All right. Pl- can you please um, name it Nay? <laughs> yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be Nay the horse. God damn it. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to pick up Mercurian and sit him in the saddle. You <laughs> don't need to be walking right now. If it rains again, well, fine. So long as I'm sitting down in the carriage. Right, right. Well, the carriage is a little bit off, and I, I don't want you walking that far. You're gonna, you're bleeding. 
I am Zeliana. Um, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. It's, <laughs> it's all right. I'm s- <sighs> oh, right. so We're gonna... Just rest. Just rest. I pat his head. Thank, thank you. Yes, very good. Uh, and and with this, uh, you you sort of get get back to the to the carriage. The the two uh, the two carriagemen or coachmen, uh, Hultz being the sort of foremost, comes up and says, "Well, uh, well uh, that's all settled. So uh, we'll be we'll be ready to go." And Sergeant Flaster is is there as well, having like taken all of your your sworn statements. Uh, the the sergeant goes on uh, to explain that. Uh, yes, well, I think uh, we'll have to uh, take take what we can from this back to the to the nearest uh, coaching, and we're going to head up to the Five Brothers Lodge. Hopefully, I can find my sister there. Anyways, uh, we'll we'll make the reports on all of this. You've you've done Sigmar's work this day, though. All of you seem to be quite fine and upstanding people. Just uh, be careful on the rest of your trip. I uh. Where's well, the plan? Yeah, I mean, just between you and me, be be careful. Uh, Altdorf's been strange this time of year. Mm. Oh, I can strange how? Uh, I had a cousin. She she came back from Altdorf with black hair. Let me tell you, it was always blonde before that. She swears I'm lying. I'm not, but she has black hair now, and that that that's strange. Right. Oh. Bye, Howith. We all have that face. <laughs> well, and let's just get and, moving then. I and do like appreciate... He... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I, said, I do appreciate how incredibly forward you've been with us, Sergeant, and I wish to extend my gratitude. If I may, a question. How often are these mutant attacks, or common are they on these roads? <sighs> They're getting more and more common. All sorts of crazy rumors are starting to float about about him too. I just more and more. That's why we try to do our best to patrol these roads. Indeed. But yes. not enough of us, and not enough good ones. And like as he said, says good ones. You can clearly like see the leering faces of of his four uh, like road warden troops behind. Mm-hmm. Didn't yeah. we get a? Uh, and forgive me if I'm mistaken. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're forgetting something. Didn't we find something out from the? Uh, weird first goblin that we attacked? No, the only did I do him. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair yeah, yeah. That, was, that was the only thing, which was Baron was kind of close-lipped that Baron had some relationship. Right, it was, yeah, it was that. I'm so, I well, thought Which was is that we... probably for the best, because, you know, mutant yeah, association. Yeah, 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 Not yeah. that he was a mutant when Baron knew him. Um, but with that, Sergeant Flaster nods and sort of, you know, bids you, bids you a good day. Um, it's always the silent ones that turn into mutants. <laughs> and uh with that you you have a horse which uh, i'm assuming ziliana you you and mercurian are going to be on the horse uh baron and arno are sort of back on top of the coach again along with nugget who like hops into baron's lap and like sops with a bunch of like licks and shakes of his head enthuses enthusiastic Puppy. woofing uh as gunner and Holtz they uh they they get the coach to continue on and you start making your way down south uh making good speed uh eventually uh, not up north i don't know why that no, was. Like, Wait uh, a um, We're making out. your way to the okay you lost me there we in go. <laughs> of the seven spokes which is where we will continue after a break We'll be right back, everybody. We'll see you here in about 10 ish or so minutes. Yeah, burb. Yes. Very well. We'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Bjarnan, and there's no ad or anything, but I'm Zorn the Bear, and I want to ask you guys that if you enjoyed Warhams and you enjoy our show here, that please consider sharing us around. Uh, one of the best ways to help grow the show is to basically tell people we exist. Uh, show your tabletop RPG friends, either be on Discord, maybe you have a favorite subreddit that you really might imagine that, hey, they probably will like Warhams. Or say, for example, you have like a Facebook group or you like to show your Twitter followers and stuff like that. And you can use the 
uh, hashtag Warhams thing, they're going to tell us that you're sharing us. Like, one of the best ways that can help us do more shows, more episodes, bigger and better things is to tell people we exist. And it's people like you and the community that's only going to let us keep growing. And all, really, the only reason we exist is because of you guys. So please subscribe to us on YouTube at Zorn the Bear. So, uh, follow us on Twitch at Zorn the Bear. And please follow our Twitter account uh, at Warham Show. Uh, the stay tuned. Of course, if anyone needs a direction on where to go, warhands.tv, our website, is an excellent place to send people if they're interested in us. Thank you guys so much for enjoying, and let's continue on with the show. All right, we're back. Yes. After the the meeting with the mutants on the road, our band of heroes defeated them and we moved on with the uh, the coach heading down far south to the end of the day in fact uh as sun begins to set uh well actually sun has set we are now at the inn of seven spokes this is another coaching inn similar to the um to the one that the the pcs had previously stayed at the coach and horses in fact it has a very similar layout these buildings are almost eerily identical in many places as as the the coach comes in and gunner and holst finish their 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 takedown you could see lady von strudeldorf has exited the coach and made her way directly into the establishment uh as has ernst and philippe descartes who gives you all kind of a a, a smile and even a thumbs up as he begins shuffling a new deck of cards and heads into a new inn that do the not inn. think we should gamble with him that man the, is going to die the Probably. inn of seven spokes is crowded tonight. Uh, you can tell that there are probably dozens of people inside. Uh, it makes sense given the, the closer proximity to the capital city of Altdorf, which is really only about a day away from here. Um, you You've all managed to to get out of the coach and have, have a chance to, to head into the inn. What are all of you looking to do right away? Drink. Um, yeah. Arno is going to do what he always does and mm -hmm. assess threat. Okay. Uh, he's going to basically get a scan of the people in the crowd. He's going to keep Baron close to him at all times, especially in a crowd because he's short and can get lost and can get robbed, murdered, or robbed. Tie a balloon to me. <laughs> <laughs> he floats. Uh, Float down here. And he's just going to scan the crowds for any individuals of especially unsavory report. Okay, what kind of skill would you like to give me for this? How does an intuition sound? That sounds great. Give me that at a plus 20. Mm hmm. Eh, not good. Nine, nine. Oh. Um. Uh, yeah, not not particular. There's so many people here; it's it's hard to get even even a sense uh, of what's going on. There's people moving. This is this is a lot more crowded than the uh, than the previous locale you were at the, the coaching horses. Well, this place is actually full of life and, and brimming. In fact, there's very little table space. Uh, the the innkeeper, a kind of matronly uh, woman with a crooked smile missing several teeth just like waves as you come in the door rooms are almost full loves she shouts uh, Arno is going to in, since he cannot pass an intuition test uh, Baron you probably are going to have to pick some kind of role to get away from me oh, if okay. you want to <laughs> at some point because oh, he's no. not letting you out of his sight <laughs> okay, I, I get I get Nugget from the cart. I get all probably a baby, and um, I assume Nugget has gotten over his wine hangover since then. Oh yeah, yeah, he's much and, more lively, kind of like like letting out some yelps as he's looking around excitedly at all of the yeah. people. Like, but Nugget is trained to me, enough to know not to run off without you know guidance. Yeah, like, just stay close, and I uh, basically start wilding in. I um. I, I bundle some of the items that we've gained, and we've kind of discussed this off screen, just some side yep. stuff. And I and I put it in a in, in a in a sack and put it on the side of the horse that we just got. And I also uh, bring up the change shirt and bring it up to Arnold. And here you go. I, I I know it's not really the most delightful way to receive a new gift, but uh, this is what I found off of one of them, and you, it might be useful. To 
and I handed it to you. And, and Arno, you can tell this did not come from the mutants. You, you, in fact, were, were around there. You, you know that this came from the, the coachman. Arnold will frown, but take it anyway. He is not one to take items off of dead innocents because that is not what he wants to do, but it's like it's here now. Best to use it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so, so that is going on. Mercurian and Ziliana, you have also come into this to this lovely establishment and see that it is the happeningest of places. What are what are you up to? Uh, I'll be honest, Thurston. Yes. Mercurian is tired. He's wounded. Yes. His best friend almost killed him. Yes. He really should just go to bed. And so he's going to yes. look for the most important people in the room so that he can start bragging about the journey that he just had. <laughs> I'm going to go buy us some wine. Is that okay. a good idea when you're bleeding? I'm not an apothecary, but I can't help but think that it might be... Ah, uh, whatever. Just go get it. <laughs> Alcohol's a disinfectant, I think. But is it if you drink it? It'll disinfect your insides. <laughs> 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 right, we'll have to test that assertion. Uh, do I have any money? I do. I do have money. <laughs> you you do have money? Okay, okay. For now. Um Yeah, alright, so so yeah, all right. Let's 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 figure this out. So first of all, I think there is some wine purchasing happening. I love that we come to an inn. We all know what's going to happen. There's going to be some wine purchase. There's going to be some consume alcohol checks. It's it's a thing. It just happens. This tavern's going to be uh, set on fire by party. the end of this night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, the the matronly woman like who sort of greeted uh, you. I'm assuming Mercurian and Ziliana, You're going to come up to her, probably trying to get some rooms as well. Yeah. Um, she, 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 ah, hello, love. Uh, looks like you're in need. We got, uh, enough rooms for both, uh, for you and those of your companions over there. The, uh, the, the, the dwarf and the man there. Uh, we'd be needing, uh, if you want, uh, private rooms each, uh, we'd be looking at 20, uh, silver shillings. Well, the 90. night. Yeah, 10, 10 per room. 20. Oh. Now, if you're if you're looking to stay in the common room, ten uh, ten pennies. Well, per person. She is smiles. It, is it ten pennies for a private room? No. For each, okay, so ten, ten shillings silver shillings for, for a private person. room. No, 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 for a room of two. So twenty total to get all oh, of you covered okay. in it private is, rooms. It, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> or if you want to go into the shared common room, it's ten pennies per person. Ten well, pennies. It's twenty. It is. And we're doing two rooms. Uh, that would be five for each of us. Uh, I've got 13. I can help. A Baron will look around and uh, one gold crown would basically cover it, right? Uh, so one gold. Yeah. It, so one gold crown is the equivalent of 20 silver shillings. So, yeah, one gold crown would cover the rooms. Okay, I look at everybody and go, oh, don't we? we all, I, I'll, I'll handle this. It, it, it was from what we found, and I'll take one gold crown and plop it down at her. Or actually, before any of that, I look yeah. at Mercurian, and I and I palm him basically one gold crown, and I look at him, kind of tugging him towards this lady, going, "Come on, do your magic. You know how to make this cheaper." Ah, oh, yes, of course. I am, if anything, a channel for the wonders of commerce. You have and one will... gold crown in your inventory. Yes, yes. I will approach the lady. Mm hmm Good evening, my love. How, how, what, what exactly? How much should you charge for these rooms? Ah, oh, well, uh, like I just told your friend here, it's uh, ten silver shillings uh, for a two-person bedroom per per night. Or you can go in the common room if you don't mind smelling the other people. That's that's, uh, that's ten brass pennies a night. It is. <laughs> As tempting as that might be, I can't help but think that that might not be necessary. We have, after all, just exchanged our blows with some rather, uh, dare I say, perilous warriors. We're a little bit short on coin. Do you think that you might be able to make it, say, a five-shilling exception for some weary travelers? Um, oh, um, um, you want to give me a haggle test? I would love to give you a haggle test. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, let's let's do this. Da, 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 da. Uh, ten on the dot. Hey. Two days of success. Okay. Knud, he's back. Knud is back. <laughs> oh, oh, he's him again. <laughs> oh, I've got another one. And he loads his crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> um, one sec. I'm just. I'm no. I'm. I'm more just using the the stats of, of Gustav to represent this person. Oh, no. All right. So, um, so she's like, ah, well, I can't quite go that low, you know. Well, are you planning on having any drink, love? Oh, but of course. All right. I'll make. I'll make you a deal, cause cause it looks like you're doing a bit a bit wrong here. Um, how about I give you the two rooms for for the uh, the. 20 silver shillings, but I put in a fine bottle of wine with that too. Um, and you would know, Mercury, a, a bottle of wine would cost 10 silver shillings. Oh, I bless your heart, my dear. I can't appreciate and thank you enough. You truly are the very image. Actually, sorry, sorry. My apologies. My apologies. It's 10 pennies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of kindness. You said three bottles of wine. Well, um, <laughs> I could do two. Oh, and twenty I beds. Thank and you. A car. You are, you are radiant. I can feel the power of Sigma. He is in. She smiles like with again missing like several teeth, and like as you pass the coin over, she very clearly is using like that one tooth that you know is called old chomper to test them all, because she still doesn't <laughs> trust any coins that come her way. <laughs> oh, very good, very good. Here are your, your two bottles of of uh, wine, and in fact, I like you so much. Here, have a have this pint of ale, because I see your friend there probably likes it, and she points off to Baron. Oh, you're so thoughtful again. Your generosity astounds my elven heart. Thank you, madam. And she <laughs> continues like like smiling. Baron uh, will look at the lady and just go. <clears throat> and just kind of like, just cough and kind of angle over to Arnold. <coughs> Listen, you also want to, you know, if another beer comes away, I might buy some food. <clears throat> Listen. <clears throat> now let's not. Uh, let's not. Let's. Let's take your. If I have to talk to this lady for one more second, Baron, to cover for you. I mean, my head's going to I mean, sprout wings I mean, so and fine. fly about I, I, I screaming. I, them, you know, I, 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 I can take care of the rest of But that's you know, your problem. You. It's not my problem. I think oh, no, that's much. fine. That's fine. You're, you're welcome. Okay, very good. Okay. You're welcome Excellent. All right now, I want to have everyone sit down. I don't want to be kicked out of another inn. It's not like, just, just fucking go, you fucking whale chest. But I can't. You know what? I will. You know what I will. You fucking mouse. All right, so before the war of vengeance is played out in the middle of the inn. War for self. Yes. <laughs> I will thank you so much, madam. And with a giant fake smile, take my bottle of wine, pass a bottle of wine to Arno, and pass a keg of ale to Baron. Oh, a keg? Or not a keg, whatever. A bot no, thing. Listen, I don't live in medieval times dinner and tournament. I don't know. Ow! Ah, and you hear these like these shouts from the the other side. This like cheering, like Rah! <laughs> as uh, you can see, a, a small gaggle has formed by um, by some figure in the southwestern section of this inn. Ooh! Can I see who it is with my beautiful elven eyes? Uh, yeah, it, you can see it. Like you can see that there's like a crowd, probably of a dozen people that are sort of like shoulder to shoulder, like oh, oh, and then you hear like clapping, and you hear this like thunk, 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 and like th th there's just a lot of uh, a lot of cheering. You can't see exactly what they're looking at though. All right, with a perception check, could I? Um, yeah, or you could go closer. That to would be look, even better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so Mercurian, you head off. Are any of the the rest of you like joining Mercurian to see what all the all the hubbub is about here? Yeah, I'm gonna join him. I'm gonna I'm gonna hover behind him, being you know the best bodyguard uh, in existence 
as yeah. evidenced by the hole in his chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to bodyguard him right now because if he takes a wound, he will die. Uh, ab absolutely. So what you come across, uh, you realize very quickly, Mercurian, why you couldn't see the target uh, of, of the interest, because the, the person you see is a, is a halfling who is like garbed in almost clown like makeup, the, the sort of typical gesture ish appearance, uh, playing on a lute, the sound of which has barely caught over the raucous laughter and, and celebration of the people here. Um, but as she is playing on the lute, she will occasionally like nestle it with, with her art, with her playing hand, stopping the tune and produce a small throwing dagger, which she tosses with. With ease onto a marked part of of the uh, the wall here, which has a, a secondary section of wood, and you can see, in fact, she's making some kind of like smiley face out of throwing knives while playing on her lute. Um, the figure looks like this again halfling with sort of a gesturish appearance, some some short but wavy uh, kind of curled hair. Clown, kale jester, kale jester. No, well, she's, she's more accurate than me. Clowns. I'm going to get replaced in this party. <laughs> <laughs> what a charismatic little mite. Oh, God, that was terrible. Oh. Well, Why, where's she got the, the jester's makeup on? Probably on the fact of her being a jester, Ileana. And, and she's she's continuing. <laughs> she she is you continuing shit. her performance, and like people are tossing like some some brass pennies, even a few silver shillings into a into a small like bot like the loot box that has been opened. And anytime someone like passes a silver shilling, she does this like deep bow while still strumming on the loot one handed and producing a knife and throwing it to add another dot into the smiley the smiley face she is forming. Well I wanna see her finish it. I put a silver shilling in her hat and look very eagerly. Yeah, and, and she like hops and like continues playing this this lovely instrument and like mouths thank you as she bows and as she bows her hand goes down to pull out another knife and tosses it into the uh the, the the kind of like right side of the smile on the smiling face, which is basically complete now. <laughs> Z Yay! Ziliana, what? don't be so foolish. You need to ask me if I want to give you a silver shilling, and I'll hand her a silver shilling to hand to the Harlequin. What? I take the silver shilling and just. It's just... What? <laughs> I, I, I put it in the hat. <laughs> oh, like yeah, and, and she twirls and p proceeds this time to sort of aim, aim one last, uh, one last of her of her throwing knives onto the target. Uh, she's very, very clearly like eyeing it while playing loot. Oh, and she nails it perfectly, oh. adding a nose, adding a nose into the smiley face. And everyone, there's there's this like raucous cheering as everyone is <laughs> extremely excited uh, over this. And she bows and like put, finishes the, the loot. And she, Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll be around all night. And uh, if any of you want to play cards, I'm your girl. And like as as soon as she says that <laughs> oh, from like be behind all of you, you hear this oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This man is going to have no money by the end of the night. I I <laughs> I don't know, no man. I don't know. I don't know if this guy is a grifter or a grifty. Yeah. And at this point, <laughs> I'm too tired to ask. Can I stop Should him? I oh yeah. How are you still like like you? You just see that like Philip Descartes, wide eyed and like staring at the half like now putting away. His twisted things. his twisted his stole one hand coming out like a gate to stop him with the take with his taker hand. He goes ah right ah. We did have a conversation. So why not you give me your money and I'll fight for you in the card game as your champion and try to win you that money back you lost. 
But why would I? Why would I do that? I, I I am so skilled. This is my chance. I look at him dead in his eyes and going, <laughs> "Would you dare lie to someone who has a book of grudges?" Wait, but what? Or, I, I am not lying. I, I look. I just need to hit my stride. How many did you win against me? Well, how many did you win against my friends? Luck. Reynold was not with me, huh? How many How many have you won compared to your losses? How poor are you? How many of your family wealth have you lost? Uh, but not that much. I'm, I'm doing quite uh, quite reasonably. How I much do like you have in your pocket? Uh, you mean right now? Yeah. Well, uh, let me check here. I have uh, 40 silver shillings to my name. You have 40 silver shillings. And you're That's trying right. to get all the way to Altdorf. And how much did you start before you got to here? A bit, uh, a bit more. A bit more. So, at a loss, you know. All right, I, I have a, a suggestion, mon ami. What if you become my, how do you say, coach? I will pay you, but I will still play the game. I, I will agree to this. Nugget, we found ourselves another <laughs> another client, and I, and I take a drink of my take of the last drop, put it down on the counter, like come on, Nugget, we got work to do. I right, so here's the plan, and I basically explain to him how we're gonna help him cheat this shit, and we're gonna <laughs> basically kind of stand behind her, and I'm just gonna like twirl my mustache if it seems like a good a good thing to go against or not. Ben sir, are you suggesting that we should be le cheating? Oh, no, you don't see that word out of That's a bad taboo word, you see. And I'm and at the same time, I'm kind of like glancing at Arnold ever so often. <laughs> Arnold is, is leering down at you. He's watching. As long as you don't leave his side, he doesn't care what you do. I assume it's like, like standing <laughs> ominously like Dracula with like red eyes, like glowing out from the hat brim down at Baron, who's gesticulating on how they're going to cheat. Arnold is not walking to follow him as, as Baron moves. Moves, Arnold just hovers. Uh, His legs do not menacing. He just glides along, following Baron to make sure he doesn't get us in trouble. Uh, yeah, okay. So what are what are the elves doing? Cheering? Like you, Ziliana, you've just seen this 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 halfling uh, lady finish her her performance. She is she is putting her things away. What, what are what are you doing? Oh God. Um, I'm gonna very excitedly lean down toward her, kind of sitting uh, at the table next to her. So where'd you learn that trick? The, the knife thing? Oh, the knife thing! I, I picked that up on the on the street, you know. I uh, I, I I did. I, I learned a lot of things in in my uh, in my younger days. I did. Oh, on the street. That sounds di Do you have a story? Uh, well, I mean, uh, everyone has a story. I I have a story. I have a good story. I do. Uh, you see, I well, I, I I start you off on the on the street, uh, but but that never sounds. Like, wait a sec. I'm breaking the rules. You see, the first rule is, and you got to learn this too, my my friend. If you're gonna tell a story, always charge for it. <laughs> oh. Well, uh -oh. I look at me, Korean. <laughs> I, I, I'm raising the bottle. It's about to touch my lips. I'm like, I'm finally relaxed up by the fire. I'm like, ah. <laughs> what? Well, you told me that I should look at you if I needed money. I never told I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The wallet. <laughs> How much? Hmm. And then what, do you just look back to <laughs> her? her purse? Like, is this the negotiation? <laughs> oh, well, you know, uh, I could do do all right with a, a pint of spirits and some uh, some, some meal for tonight, uh, which you would roughly estimate to be three silver shillings. Three cool. silver shillings? Jesus. Ten, like, it's ten fucking things for a <laughs> bottle of wine. And then three, is this just a five-course meal? God damn. <laughs> Uh, uh, this is a halfling, so it's probably two well, or that, three meals. Well, this bitch needs to be content with one plate, all right? 
Zilly Evan, just... you are not you are not involved in this negotiation. I don't Zilly, care. You are, you are is... teaching the person who's about to swindle this lady. This is out of character. Yeah, yeah, it's coming from full circle. We're about to win this back. No, um, I'm going to um, I'm gonna tap my chin and how about a pint of ale between friends for a story? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not. I'm not really an ale girl. I, I like my spirits. You know, spirits. Keep up my spirits. Oh, uh, bloody she smiles. I take a giant swig of my wine and then I hand the rest of it to her. Give Tell me a consume alcohol off. check. Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Drinking. <laughs> drinking game drinking. is drinking. <laughs> Welcome to Drinking Simulator. Ah, uh, forty-four minus one degree success. Nice. Okay. Um. So. So as you, uh, you, you, you basically suffer a, a minus ten penalty on your weapon skill, ballistic skill, agility, dex, and int. Um. After you have you've kind of started to get a bit tipsy from the the swig back there. Indeed. And I will pass the rest to her. I tell you what, madam, because you are ever so charming. Why don't you take this bottle of wine, tell half the story, and at the halfway point, then you can pull in a dinner. How about this? Because I'm a negotiator too, and I can see what you're trying to do, and I really appreciate it, sir. First of all, how about you do the hacking test first? (laughs) The moment she says that, I'm going to willfully and immediately fail, take the bottle of wine back, and say, you know what? I've actually decided I don't want to argue about this. Here are three silver shillings. I am. I, I. I am not. I am not going to negotiate, even if it's better for me. I don't care. I want to drink, and I'm going to need it. I can see. Based on <laughs> based on that 76 you have in range throwing, I'm assuming your haggle skill will be quite high, Lady Halfling. Let's not have this fight. Um, I assure she... you, it is not a thing of numbers. <laughs> I'm, I'm busting your chops. She chuckles though, and she sort of likely said. Oh, well, thank you so much for that. I'll go get myself a meal, some spirits. And you know what? How about a little piece of information for you? Because you look like shite, sir. How about you go talk to the doctor? And she, like, points to a woman who is sitting at a table in the far corner um, who has, like, there's some air of familiarity to her as she's sort of sitting in the in, in the, the dark corner of this uh, of this in uh, nursing a drink and like picking over the the final remains of her meal um, she's she's got like a medical cap on she's got a a, a symbol of sigmar that is like a, a brooch around a cloak and she has several vials that are dangling on a bandolier and like the, uh, the, the the halfling lady who is yet to introduce herself sort of like leans in. Uh, they call her the doctor or frowning Anita. Don't call her that. Call her the doctor. The doctor. Well, All right. You just made a the rumble. doctor. First name the. No, I don't. Well, just doctor. That's all. Ah. Uh. Uh, Mercurian, if you're gonna see the doctor, I'm gonna fiddle around in my uh, my pouch for a second. I'm gonna pull out all twelve of my remaining silver shillings and I'm gonna hand it to him. Uh, sorry. No, no. No, take it. There you are now. T- take it, no. Mercurian. I tell you what, I'll trade you, and I'll take the silly shillings, and then without her arguing, I'll just slap a gold coin in her hand, and then I'll fuck off. And we're done. No, slipped well, well. And I'll head to the doctor's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so, so, so you're heading off. We we cut back to to Baron and F- Philip, and, and like Baron, as as you're continuing, to even say, "Oh no, she's she's sitting with your friends. Is this part of it?" No, 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 no. This this was gonna happen, right? Remember the arrangement we just agreed to, right? So basically, yes. I need a contingency. I need collateral. You see, you're paying for my services to help you get money. I'm gonna right. even if you win or lose, you still owe me for my services, right? Well, how about I, I uh, just pay you right now? How about I give you uh, five silver shillings, eh? Um, oh, you see, I didn't swindle in the other mini taverns for five goddamn shillings, you know? Uh, maybe ten will do just fine because of your dire state. I'll give you a dwarven honorable discount. 
I suppose that is all right. All right, I'll give you, I'll give you ten. Here, here you go. Oh, God. No, you think you think. This guy is fucked. <laughs> 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 all right, give me a second. Mm. One, two, three, four. Eight, nine, ten. I'm my character sheet. I don't need to use Absolutely. I would be just, you know, just stood standing behind her, you know, just give it a deal. And if I notice any of her curves, you know, and I would be whispering, to, like, psh, 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 like away from her. It's like, basically, if I notice anything, um, then I'm going to, if it seems like a good play, I don't stroke my right mustache. You know, you could tell from my right to my left, right? Right. What is this you, sign? You, I hold up my right hand. It's a gauche. Whatever. And my left one, I will, I will stroke my left my left mustache if it's a bad play, and you should probably not engage any further. Got it? Uh, it's up to your fantastic drat. skill. Yes, I've got it. <sighs> Harry. Uh, yeah, the, 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 all right. Let us go. I will go and work my charms on this lovely uh, this I, halfling lady. Away with you! <laughs> and basically, as he goes, I I, I, I position myself and I tell and I, and I bend over the, the nugget, like petting him, but also tell him, like, all right, boy, you have the plan. If she ever tries to hide her car to do anything like that, you just be all so adorable and hop up on her lap or kind of bark at her and be all nice and cute. Or even, you know, scuffle on her feet or whatever. Just to make sure she has to adjust so I can get a peek at her cards. Right? Uh, he gives you a little whine, like, mm, then looks at the halfling, looks back at you, looks at the halfling, like, are we really yeah. doing this? Yes, we're doing this, fucking dog. Like, we've been doing this for years. <laughs> this is how <laughs> I feed you. Swindler. I just really want to get out of the hard life. Why can't I want to get out of it too, man, but we're stuck here in the middle of nowhere. We just got hit by mutants and you puked all over a noble lady. I need money. <laughs> Master Jesus. Stack Wall. Uh, yeah, you hear Master out of Stack Wall from the voice behind by the that's way. Absolute. The dog doesn't <laughs> talk, by the way, everyone. Uh, Arno, yes. Do try not to get into too much trouble. I'm going to look around for a bit. Hey, if something hey. goes wrong, shout. Oh, I know how to do that. Yes, you do. Okay, I uh. position myself. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, and like, <laughs> let, let Zorin play his character. <laughs> yeah, um, and and of course it's it's uh, Ziliana and and the the the, the halfling who. Ha now is like sat down and the server has come with three plates worth of food just for the halfling uh who begins like picking uh, around and takes some like spirits and like smiles as she's like grabbing all of this food and reaches out a uh a, you know like a, a white tattered hand uh from from all the makeup she has and she looks at you Ziliana. my name's pandora pandora lost pocket Pandora Lost Pocket. That's a fun name. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I chose it myself. I did. Well, actually, I did. My parents did. But, but everyone calls me P. That's that's my, my nickname because I'm small like a P, you see? Ah, P. I thought it was just because that's what your name started with. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Oh. And and as, as this is going on, now like Philippe walks up like like you know Chief Wiggum out of the Simpsons like do 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 hello he says as he approaches uh, may I interrupt this fine uh, conversation for a moment? Oh, are you Pandora here to lose turns. all your money again? Uh, what 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 why would you say this? Well, our. Uh, never mind. Keep going. I was just about to take up this fine specimen of womanhood in the game of cards. Yes. And Pandora's like, like quirk, quirks her head. Well, as you can see, I got a smeal in front of me and I want to eat. Ah, no. In Bretonia, they say that eating and drinking while playing cards is the only true way to do it. Eh? And like, like Lost Pockets kind of like, hmm. well, I, I suppose, and she looked like Ziliana, would, would you mind? Uh, not too terribly. A dinner and a show, I suppose. <laughs> All right. C 
come take take a seat, love. And and they're like you 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 hear like Finny Mac, excellent. And he's like very clearly positioning the chair to be directly opposite of Baron, who is on the other side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just look over at Baron, just like a long long look, a little disappointed. Baron gives her a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, it's like the happiest <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> Um, all right. So as, as this, this shit show is being set up, uh, let's, let's cut back to, to you, Mercurian. Mercurian, you have uh, now walked up to the, to the woman who is sitting and sort of like picking at her meal. Um, she sort of, she, she looks up as you approach. Uh, good evening. I've been told that you are the doctor. She pauses lets out a bit of a sigh, turns and looks up at you. Yes, that's me. Oh, God, you look terrible. Yes, I had a bit of an altercation with some mutants on the road. I was hoping I could come to you perhaps for a uh, you know, valuation and perhaps some uh, medicinal work, for lack of a better term. Um... Right. Uh, okay, well, you know, I, uh, I could probably help you out. I, I did take an oath for this kind of stuff. All right, um, be four silver shillings for me to give you the, uh, the, the once over. Ah, well, greatly appreciated. And I will dispense with this amount of money. Good, good. All right, sit in that chair. Right, uh, this isn't going to be terribly painful. Do you need to see my license? Uh, that would be ideal, yes. I wasn't going to ask uh, because I didn't think about it, but then she mentioned it, and now I definitely am not going to consent unless I see this license. Uh, well, here you go. I mean, if you don't ask for a, for a license from a pra- practicing medicine, uh, you're doing it wrong. So, here you go. I will take that under advice. Things you should be learning. I uh, was going to back, in fact, to my uh, alma mater there. It's the Collegium Theologica in Middenheim. Hmm, yes. Uh, have I heard of this place? Uh, you've heard of Middenheim. You know it's a city that is to the north, kind of the, the city of the White Wolf. Uh, in fact, you know that the road you're on is the Middenheim Altdorf Road. But hmm. beyond that, uh, do you have any like appropriate lore skills or the like? Nah, I got lore heraldry. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing quite that you would know about this. Yes, I've heard of Middenheim, but I hate to say I haven't heard of your establishment. Well, it's a good one. I'm on my way up there, as I said. As long as uh, I don't get stopped along the way by overprotective folks. All right, sit there. Overprotective folks. I I will, of course, sit. (laughs) Are you perhaps on the run from some quarrelsome parents? No, 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 no. She she chuckles. Not parents, not parents. No, siblings. They're even worse. All right. And she, uh, she she begins to, like, pull out some some draughts and attempts to, uh, to apply things. All right. She is going to try to heal you up. Let's see how this goes. Excellent. Oh, uh, Maria. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What's so your roll? she rolled a... 10 versus a 68 so she got five degrees of success sorry i didn't actually have the screen up because i'm madly pulling up the rules to see exactly how much that heals you for because that is a good amount of healing there uh so you will get back uh the success levels there which is uh five success levels plus her intelligence bonus so you'll get back 10 wounds as she begins to to treat the the damage you have taken using healing poultices and other such things to restore the damage you you have taken and to clean out the wound around the crossbow bolt you took from the mutants on the road oh well they say you're quite accomplished at your craft 
I feel almost right as rain. Good, 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 good. Well, yes. as I said, if you can uh, provide me the, the silver, uh, we'll, we'll call it even. I'm glad to be of assistance here. Of course. You know, if you're running away from your sibling, I believe that we had run into a... Uh, wouldn't have to be a road warden, would it? Yeah. Yeah, Magnus, my, my brother Magnus. Ah, yes, we had run into Magnus briefly in the... Uh, on the road, he happened upon us after we'd cleared out those uh, mutants. Oh, that's where that came from. I wasn't going to ask. Doctor's mm -hmm. prerogative never to ask about these kind of things. Oh, fair uh, but enough. You, you ran into it. I assume he had to cle clean everything up there. Yes, there was a rather dangerous sort of affair. It seemed as though the, some mutants had ambushed a carriage. And, uh, quite frankly, it was rather messy. Uh, they tried to do the same to ours. Unfortunately, we were able to fight them off, and uh, I took a crossbow to the chest in my troubles. And then, unfortunately, we uh, ran into difficulties with the um, first aid after the fight. She uncharacteristically lets out this howling laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. Three, three, three silver shillings. You, you kept him off my case. <laughs> Oh, very well, then. Uh, absolutely. And I will hand her the three instead. Very kind of her. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yes. All right. Uh, um, word to the wise uh, before you yes. go. Last we heard of him, he was on his way to the Five Brothers Lodge. If you're trying to avoid him, that's where not to be. Very good. Well, hopefully I'll not catch him on the road then. Excellent. Excellent. She, mm. she kind of like claps her hands together and goes back to her meal with uh, yes. with renewed vigor. Um, okay, so as that's going on, Arno, what, you said you were taking a break. What exactly are you up to, my friend? Arno is now content enough that Baron's not going to get into trouble and everyone else is also not going to die imminently, namely mm -hmm. Uh He is going to... Well, he's going to not hunt for unsavory types, but find people who definitely look a bit more rustic, so to speak. If there are okay. any in the bar. Uh, yeah, what kind of uh, checker you want to give me on? Well, see, the thing is, I don't know what quite you would want me to do other than maybe another intuition. Because I don't intuition, have really any other, or like perception, perception is another option. Uh, whichever They're you're comfortable ones, with. So. Yeah, so, so intuition then is fine. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Challenging? Uh, plus 20. Plus 20. Same as last time. Yeah, yeah. No, still a failure. Um, 68. That's a marginal failure is enough that you, you do find something. However, it's not like a marginal failure can still give you information. And in this case, you're not finding anyone in the bar. Instead, of interest is outside. Like as you kind of go to take just a breath of fresh air, you can see outside sort of uh, like up against the gate is uh, Ernst Heidelman, the, the, the quiet scholarly fellow who was in the coach and then also uh, at the prior inn you were at, who is sort of lying up against the closed gate here, uh, reading a book. Okay. Arno is going to approach him in that case then, and he will approach him quietly because he's not going to get his attention or anything just yet. Yeah, absolutely. So you see, like, Ernst's uh, sort of, like, wiry uh, appearance, sort of kind of bushy hair as he looks up at you as you approach. He's currently reading this tome that you've seen him holding on to uh, for the, the entirety, the, the leeches and their curative properties. And he's kind of got a, got a skull that's marked up, an anatomical device, and he looks up. Okay. He doesn't say anything. Uh, can I get a read on this guy at all? Like, what book is he reading? Uh, yeah. So, 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 as I said, the uh, the the curative proper or leeches and their curative properties is the name of the book. Well, he's just a medicinal man. I don't really have anything to say to this fellow, and I, I'm really not looking. You know, Arnold does not wish to strike up conversation with someone who's clearly busy, so he will instead look around for other individuals. Unless, yeah. Medicine. Okay. So, so at that point, you you sort of head head back in and as you kind of turn around he you can tell he like head down back in his book flipping through pages mm -hmm. um all oh, right oh good well i mean i guess that's my turn because I'm, I'm basically just twiddling away doing nothing here so no 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 so you 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 head back into the inn and at this point you can see it's it's picked up quite a bit uh the 
the lady uh, von Strudeldorf has departed, you can see that there are others now that are starting to to pick up steam uh, with the the card game. There's a little bit of an interested uh, group gathering around Philip and the the halfling who you've yet to be introduced to, but is is Pandora Lost Pocket. Uh, you kind of kind of get the the sense of this as you come back in. Okay. Um, un unfortunately, really, I don't have a whole lot to say. Arl would okay. not really have much of a vested interest in talking with assorted random people about things, and the halfling does not interest him overly much. He's really just here to watch out, and I guess he'll just get some food, I guess. So he's just he's just gonna, like, like ominously eat in the corner? Absolutely. Well, he'll eat normally, but sure. I mean, Arno's always kind of ominous. Yeah, Look at that, that hat. Look at that hat. <laughs> All right, absolutely. Uh, okay, so we we cut back to Baron Ziliana and uh, Philip and Lost Pocket. Uh, Philip is like smiling and uh, uh, well, uh, would you like to shuffle or can I? Uh, and like Lost Pocket, oh, well, whatever works for you, I guess. Ziliana, what are you uh, doing during this? At this point, I think Ziliana is probably just watching with some kind of vague interest, just kind of occasionally sliding a glance over at Baron, like, how could you do this? This isn't honorable. <laughs> you see in wow. the deep eyes and recesses of Baron with his happy face as an intense stare uh, of him making sure he's looking at the cards as best he can, that he just doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. All right. Then how about some Scarlet Tempest, eh? Huh? Yeah, it sounds fun. All right, I'll, uh, I'll trust you to deal, sir. All right, let us begin. How much do you want to uh, start off with? Shall we start with a reasonable five silver shillings per hand? And she's like, yeah, yeah, that sounds, that sounds great. Uh, and now we get the, the lovely moment where the GM's going to roll dice against himself because apparently Chad is super damn invested in this oh, right now. Right? Um, I, mean, yeah. I mean, of course, I and have to assist him in some way, right? We're all oh, very abs invested. Absolutely, you can. Um, oh. We're going to start off, though, with the, the gambling from uh, from our dear, our dear friend, uh, Lost Pocket, who is going to start us off as she begins. That's a 59. A 59 versus a 58, so zero degrees of success and a marginal failure. Uh, this then brings us to Philip, who now is like smiling, nodding. Um, do you have a ga do you have gamble? Um, I do, but I Baron? was hoping you know, with all my arguments and stuff that I would use perception to try to help him out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Give me a perception check. Uh, give me a just challenging perception. If you succeed, oh, uh, the, actually, the results. Oh, good. Yeah, actually, uh, yes. Yeah, oh, now you're looking at your skills. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I have a helmet you, on that gives me my skin perception. That's you got true. <laughs> oh, shit. This isn't good. All right. Give me a gambling test. Thanks, Here, man. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> welcome. I rolled a four. So you're oh. going to give him an extra success level as you're like quickly making man. He's like, all right, all right. Uh, 31. Whoa. Yeah, he like destroys her in the first hand. Just like bang, bang, bang. Ah, c'est bien. Good. Mm. Signaling like to have, uh, kind of give him a nod, grind, continue. <laughs> Done well. Uh, Lost Pick's like, well, guess, guess I got to get that back or two. How about... uh? Well, I got enough. For, how about 10 silver shillings on this hand? I got to make it back. It's my uh, 10 silver shillings. That sounds more like my game. Let's do it. Hey, um, and with, yeah, with that, uh, she she goes in again to to do another hand of this. Um, she oh, gets an 85 five. with three degrees, <laughs> three failures. Philip is like, hey, he's looking. Is 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 Baron still helping here? Yeah, I'm, I'm helping him the entire. Give me way. another. Give me another gamble check. Okay, let's see. Another let's hand. See. Can you do it? 
if I help him. I mean, now that I've kind of learned how she does her stuff and everything else, I should, maybe I might, you know, possibly get like a plus 10 or something or like. I'll give you a plus 20. Sure. Or, or sure. maybe, you know, maybe I've got like some advantage and, you know, just, just get a little plus 20 in there. Dude. Yeah. Was, That's a, oh that is my a four. God. That is a fucking so once four. Again, <laughs> once again, you, you, you four. assist him. Uh, again. Giving him, I'll just, I'll modify his success level bonuses to represent your, your awesomeness here. And he got a. Oh, look at that! Got a fucking I seventeen. Mean, seventeen. Hey, look! It, uh, it appears I have won again. And like at this point, like Ziliana, you can see little sweat beads like forming on on her clown-like face as Lost Park is like, oh, oh no, oh I uh oh oh this is um oh well uh, I guess I can can give you the the rest of what I have. I've got some pennies here, and I I'm gonna try to, to win it back. I oh, signal yeah. to him to cut it off. Baron and, and like queen? Baron Phillip's Baron like hey you have offered me a hand let us continue eh? like Baron, and she's like okay okay she's like so no, desperate Baron, to win back what she's lost Baron will order Nugget to bite that dude's leg <laughs> uh and then like, leave as, as fast as he can after he bites as, it as this is going on like Nugget's like very confused um Baron I I think in order to influence Nugget to attack someone because Nugget is a pure soul um you're going to have to give me a um honestly Nugget doesn't even really want to do this give me a charm, charm animal. animal at minus 10 at Nugget minus is a 10. good boy yeah manipulating my fucking dog <laughs> it's uh, right ooh. Yeah, that's a ninety-one. Nugget shakes no. said the, the 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 ears Nugget. flapping like, no, I can't hurt another soul. Nugget. Why would you ask me to do this? Nugget, you um, rats for a living. As as that is going on, Philip is like, all right, I will uh, go one more hand just to give you the chance to win back. And Lost Book's like, okay, okay. I make it very she, clear like, to Felipe that Baron will say, don't continue, don't continue. Like he's oh yeah, he's continuing. Signal. He's in the zone, and she's like, oh, I did. Good. I did so good and Philip's like okay that's very good you see uh, and he's like going in now with uh, with his and he's just like mm, that uh, that was not as good as I would like it to be so uh, I'm actually going to use my built in luck and uh, I'm going to uh, you know as they say reroll that Nice. Oh, why did, oh, I rolled Wait, barons. Whoops. Yeah, you rolled mine. I rolled barons because <laughs> I had oh, barons. 31 of them. Uh, well, a 31 would have been four degrees. So, like, she she manages to to get it back. And he's like, oh, look at that. That is uh, very good. She's like, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, I feel it. Baron has <laughs> left. <laughs> okay. Baron's like, okay, but, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, you could win. You could stand to win a lot more, my friend. She's like, what, what do you mean? I, I mean, I don't have that much coin left. <laughs> uh, you don't have coin, but I think that uh, that loot of yours is probably worth a, a couple gold crowns. And, you know, I have a couple gold crowns on me, he says, pulling out some gold crowns. Why don't we make this interesting, my friend? Oh. <laughs> uh. So, Yana, what are you doing? Baron has walked away. Baron's having a pep talk. Baron's having a pep talk with Nugget going, the fuck's wrong with you, man? We were a team, and you let me down. You asked me to bite a person. (laughs) Yeah, because that's what we do, Nugget. We need to do this to survive. (laughs) Uh, Can I tell that this halfling very clearly doesn't want to continue on with this? Oh, oh, she's like, she's like kind of got the gambling itch. And she's like, well, I could win a lot of money and that money would be very good. And like you turn to see Philip, whose hands are sort of wide. He's smiling for some reason. There's like a reflection, like a lens flare off his teeth. And he's like, hey, come on, one more hand. Uh, you know, I, um, I think I'm going to go check in on my friends. You- you two have a good time. I pat their backs. I'm going to get up and I'm going to kind of stiffly walk over to Mercurian, leaning down to Baron on the way. And like, as you get up, she's like, well, I guess I could put my loot up. And she's like taking the box and putting it on the table. 
I, do I you go to Mercury and, at this point? Uh, you you stand up and like literally like walk all of three feet, Ziliana, before you see Mercury. Oh, I am. Oh, you bandaged up. That's good. Staring daggers into the back of Gambling Man. <laughs> uh, uh, I am going to approach the table. You walk right by Ziliana after she says that. Uh, okay. Say nothing. Just go up to the <laughs> yeah, table. Yeah, I crack my knuckles. Oh, <laughs> sure, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight. And like you mind. just hear this. Hello, mon ami. Are you here to join us? We are having, as they say, the true value game here. Two, cra- two gold crowns. Hey, come take your luck. I wasn't aware that you had two gold crowns in your possession, good man. Uh, well, I am a man of man of many talents, you see. Yes, and he you like see, he I sort have... of like leans into you and like smiles devilishly. You see, I just need to get the chance to get in the zone. Yes, yes. You see, it's just so strange to me. As I'm going to start saying this very loudly, as I recognize you as someone of ill repute, someone who perhaps is rather either a compulsive gambler, pretends to be. Yes, yes, I know you. You're that famed cheat from the coach and horses, aren't you? You're that mewling little man who plays the fast game. I wonder if you actually did swindle her. I wonder if that's what occurred. Because quite frankly, we've known you to be kicked out of other establishments in the past for this. And I'm speaking loudly to try to draw the crowd and anyone listening to this man, as well as to attack his confidence. Um, in, we have decided in, to side with the jester. Bold, bold, bold play here, Cotton. Um, I'm a, I'm a bold man. I mean, that's that's fair. Um, let's give me one sec here. What what kind of check are you considering here? Um, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to rally kind of the crowd and like manipulate them. Would you perhaps take leadership? Um, like I uh, like leadership is is typically around like you're trying to to make them believe something. In this case, I'm I'm gonna say this is more of a charm in this particular. Just because you're trying to get them no, to like sense. believe yeah, yeah. a lie effectively here, which is what charm does in this game. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, give me a uh, challenging charm test. All right, sure thing. Um, now since I'm doing this to the general crowd. This is not an especially high status bar. Mm -hmm. Um, Would you say that the majority of people in here are are brass or silver status? Uh, The majority of people in here are brass status. Okay, so I'll be adding to 20 to it. As I am of gold status. Mm -hmm. So I'll functionally just have two things of advantage. All right. Let's roll. 22. That'll do. Degrees of success. Yeah, um, like you, you, you're you're starting now. Now at this, you hear from from Philip. What are you say? Are you trying to accuse me of something? Aren't those the gold coins you swindled from me in the previous establishment? But my honor, you would you would dare to say this? I swindled no one. In fact, there are other witnesses who are in this establishment who can back my claim. Baron has gone to his room. <laughs> Baron is now like Baron's we gone. cut to Baron with with like nuggets on the Baron bed. N- nuggets tea. just like nodding. I am like, going to look at this man. Are you doubting the words of a scion from the houses of Ulthuan? Are you doubting the words of a man who has bled to keep these roads safe? I know many of your accomplices, even now, might balk to see you. They might be embarrassed to see you curdle about like an insect in the face of these accusations. Return what you have stolen and be gone before you seek embarrassing yourself or me any further. Um, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, okay, speaker. Okay. Uh, I <laughs> need I need you to know that this isn't personal. I need to, to preface <laughs> this by this isn't 
Like this isn't at all of personal. Course. Of course. <sighs> okay. He pulls his pistol and shoots you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. I, I would like to to read the if accused of cheating. Philip denies it hotly. Um, he attempts to bluff his way out, and if it doesn't go well, he pulls out his pistol and hey, fires. Wait, 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 would you say that initiative then is appropriate? Uh, no, no, no. He he's getting a surprise because you're having a long speech, and he just pulls out a pistol and shoots you. <laughs> which is how this game works. But we will see, because he's not necessarily super good at it. Um, so one sec here. Um, so here I am trying to find threats in this establishment. We found and one. You guys are making them. <laughs> also, I require you. I require you to give me a uh, plus 20 cool test. Uh, Zillana and um, Mercurian are the two I need these from. Cool. I like a to, cool test. Like right. Yeah, because your, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, go ahead. That, that Mercurian shirt looks like just a giant red target. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, marginal failure. Okay, so so Ziliana, you you gained the broken condition uh for for a moment because effectively what happens is he pulls out this gun and just fi Phil pulls out this this pistol and fires it and it has the the um the black powder uh quality which what that means is when you when you fire it um everyone in a certain range has to make a cool test or be broken because holy shit it's a it's a gun um and he is he is attempting to fire it he's probably not going to be that good at it but let's find out um one sec so many windows open here so many npcs what the sorry it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's come on come on uh, i i believe too it's just <laughs> for some reason i'm clicking on the weapon and it's like I can't let you do that, Dave. There we go. Um, oh no! <laughs> please, Mercurian. <laughs> and uh, yeah, here, here, actually, he's gonna. <laughs> okay. Um, bang! Oh God, no! Oh God, no! So, the, <gasps> like, he basically pulls out his pistol, oh. and there's like this, this bang, because he rolls a ninety-one versus a seventy. So he, he two degrees of of failure. Everyone in the room is like pulling back except for mercurian who has just had this like pistol fired close range um mercurian you can act before philip does yes i can what would you like to do i'm going to i'm going to gut him like a cornish game oh, for <laughs> <laughs> all right all right no! <laughs> Hold on, wait. Are we an initiative? Uh, well, you're broken and surprised. So. Oh, damn it. This man just tried to murder me. No. God, I, I knew we were going to set this fucking tavern on fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, 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 like, I like how you have eschewed responsibility. <laughs> I, I have. Not, not you. Zorin, and also you. <laughs> I assume after I hear the bang, like Zorin's is... in the room and just hears the bang. Yeah. I hear the bang. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck? I like get the loaded crossbow. And go, poof, 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 just like I'm running down. Like Nugget hops off the bed, following after you. Come on, Nugget, okay, okay uh, on. Mercurian, Mercurian, my good friend. What are you? Uh... <laughs> I I believe that someone just tried to shoot me. Yes. Uh, I want to murder this man. Yes. <laughs> he, he just tried to shoot me. I am going to make an attack with my foil. Absolutely. Can you do me a favor, uh, Thurston? Could you bring up uh, Fuckwad's art, uh, art on screen? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh, no. <laughs> Just so we have him there. there Just we so we are reminded of it. That's not him. That's him. <laughs> no, that's there him. There we go. There we go. That's him. Yep. So, would you say that I get a point of advantage on this? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> not, you're enough. doing evil. Cut it out. I'm not doing evil. <laughs> doing he evil. To shoot. He literally did shoot first. Um, yeah, that's true. That's true. After. Being relentless. He is attempting to dodge with his Bretonian agility. <laughs> Bretonian agility. Uh, so he will actually win um, with a zero. So he will he will win that. Uh, Indeed, he will. 
gaining the point of advantage, which he will immediately spend. Oh, by the way, the crowd surprised um, the the agents. Uh, sorry, like Ziliana and such, also like broken and surprised because of gunshot. Uh, he will spend his point of advantage to immediately disengage and start like rushing up the stairs. <laughs> oh, can oh, it be no. my turn next? Um, <laughs> stop it! <laughs> Please, Arnold isn't around to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Arnold, the player, is sitting here like, ah, oh, yes, good. Baron, knowing instinctively to shoot someone, <laughs> and he went up to trying to cheat to get cards. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one sec, I have to uh, let me let me review the initiative scores for a moment here. This will be important. Well, fuck. Uh, no. So Baron, you technically went before Philip, which was you getting out of the room. So you. Yeah, like, that's fine. That's your fine. your turn has happened. You're like in the the halls upstairs with your crossbow, and yeah. you would see just in like the moment of Philip running up the stairs and like turning to look at you, like smoking pistol in his hand, turning to you. And he just he just sees you at the end of the hall as you've got like your crossbow, not like fired, but like at the ready. And he's like, "I'm on yeah. me!" Um, and then we we cut back to Mercurian. Uh, he has rushed the fuck off away from you. What would you like to do? I'm quite faster. Mm -hmm. Mer Mercurian. <laughs> Betwixt Baron and I, I am now behind him. Uh, so you you're you're just immediately like rushing after him. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Some deer. <laughs> um, I I've turned the crowd against him, and they just saw him shoot someone in an inn, or try to. <laughs> I I don't feel bad at all. This is his fault. I will walk up behind him. Okay. Well, my good friend, it seems as though we've gotten you surrounded. You'll be kind enough to, uh, let's <laughs> say, give up the ghost, won't you? And so as as you. As you come up behind him, are you like, making an attack or anything? Or you I'm just holding him at foil point. Okay. Choose your next uh, action with exceptional care. Didn't okay. Like, okay. Didn't so you already go with the foil. Uh, no, no, no. That was because he went at the beginning of the round. Oh, that's then right. you okay. went to get outside. Then yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so Ziliana technically goes next. Ah, uh, she. All right. Well, clearly, having seen that things have gone very south very quickly, Zilia is going to look very disappointed, but she knows what she must do. I'm going to run up the stairs after uh, Mercurian and Descartes. I'm going to very gently move Mercurian out of the way. I'm going okay. to ball up a fist and I'm going to sock Descartes. What? Oh, okay. Just with my fist, I'm trying to subdue him. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um... Oh, that Hell just yeah. Basic. Yeah, absolutely. Alrighty. He is outnumbered. There we go. All right. Is it a plus 20 for outnumber? Uh, I mean, you're behind him, so yeah, plus, uh, plus 20, because, yeah, two to one. Nice. This has gone so bad, so bad. This has gone so great. What are you doing? Hey, 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 Thursday, do tell me when I can sit here into combat and figure out what's happening. Uh, he, he, no, no, you'll be at the end of this round because you would have been, like, in the surprise. Yeah. Um, so, okay. He, uh, Descartes attempts to dodge. Uh, we'll see how that goes for him. <laughs> Oh my god. No! No! Uh, yeah, so you, like, come up and, like, clock him uh, in the right leg. Oh, yeah. It's not really clocking. That's just kind of punching. Yeah, yeah I like punching. Him. Dead like Yeah. Him. Yeah, so uh, let's let's learn. This is something I had to find out earlier. Um, unarmed attacks and where they, where they show up because it's in a weird place. It's actually in the melee weapons in the consumer's guide. Uh, an unarmed attack is just your strength bonus plus zero. So whatever your strength bonus is, is the damage plus your success levels. 
Oh, so, uh, well, I didn't have success levels, so my strength So it's relative It's relative success levels, though, so you technically have oh. three over him. So, oh. so for seven points, um, and then he would reduce it by his toughness, but he is a he is a Bretonian man, so his toughness is two. Uh, and then he has no armor, so he takes five wounds from you, like, coming up and oh smacking him in the back of the leg as he lets out, ah, oh, no! <laughs> he turns, um pleadingly uh, to Baron and like shouts out like at all of this Baron my friend your companions they are possessed by demons Baron here go so I see a man <laughs> with a smoking gun in his hand <laughs> rush up and go yes. and I go oh it's my friend hopefully there's nothing dangerous in the thing and he probably ran up here for help and then I see the danger that is an angry chest hold fucking pissed off elf yes. rush up <laughs> like some Jojo fucking shadowy red eyed monster yes. and then uh, yeah, just menacing an Arnold Schwarzenegger redhead elf slash this guy up no, and I punch, go punching, punching, oh, punching. Okay, and I go. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, just, I, I, I frogged his leg. I'm trying to just, just end this. Baron sees him and goes, "Oh, you, you tried to shoot my friends. No one shoots my friends but me." <laughs> and I will okay, so fire. Shoot Mercurian. <laughs> yeah. So please, please fuck <laughs> this shot up and hit Mercurian. So you I have am... no idea how much I want you to miss this shot and clock Mercurian. So I, we're gonna find <laughs> out because Baron has a crossbow. Yes, you are committing a homicide. That oh, is loaded. Jesus. <laughs> and technically, they're in like melee, but it's in like a line. But it's because of the shooting into crowd mode. Which is unfortunately yes. a rule in this game. He uh, he has to aim <laughs> at him. So I think I get like a, I, if I remember the rule, I think it's like a minus ten or something. I can't remember. Uh, so okay, so you are Tell going to get uh, plus twenty because you're in a short range. So. Yes. Hooray! Um, cool. You are attacking. Um, you're not attacking and engage, blah. Um, you are targeting into into melee, though. Mm -hmm. So shooting into melee, uh, they are you. So okay, here's the thing: you can take the minus twenty, um, and if this is like what, if the minus twenty is what would cause you to fail, then you base it basically if you're within the, that twenty range, you hit your ally essentially. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Give me a second. Let me see if I got my thing working. Because it says I have ammo. And oh, I do um, indeed have ammo. Sorry, because you had to technically you had to roll to reload it, but we assumedly you rerolled it or uh, you loaded it before. If you check on combat, um there's a loaded checkbox. That should be good now. Oh, that's right. That's, that's basically right. what sorry. you just rolled for. Actually, so yeah. I forgot to load the damn nope. thing. My you're bad. good, you're good, you're good. So now you can just take the shot. There we go. So plus, so it's plus twenty plus in what? I'm sorry. Uh, plus twenty minus twenty. So it's going to be a challenging okay, zero. Test. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Eighty. I'm going to spend a fortune reroll. That's a <laughs> good idea. Gonna, Absolutely. You know, I'm just gonna, get within that twenty. You're going to roll within that twenty just so we can hit one of your companions. It's a fortune point reroll. Here we go. Oh and it's, it's a 59 and I didn't get it. <laughs> which <laughs> means, which means it's within the 20 range of uh, minus 20. Because um, I assume this is happening very quickly. And oh, absolutely. Like, ah. Absolutely. Um, so. And McCarrick comes up as roll. soon as I fire, crossbolt is midair. Chat. It says the GM gets to decide, but I am a I am a noble GM who would never pick on a player. I would mm. never, ever pick a player. So I am going to randomly roll saying one is Mercury and two is Zilliana. Flip the coin. <laughs> oh, no. Flip the coin. So Mercurian uh, gets smashed by this bolt, uh, which oh. is like because of the success levels, it still is only like minus one. So it is eight damage to Mercurian's body as the bolt slams what? into you. I hate that crossbow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. My dwarven oh, might knew what was right. <laughs> 
All right. Um, you know what? I have a fast attack. I get to choose out of initiative. I was holding it, right? Yes. But now yeah. I see there's only one option. We got him. I got his rear. He's between three of my friends. All right. I how much? How many bonuses? Plus forty. Am I Plus, Plus forty. 40. Why Excellent. are we killing him? Here's what I'm doing. Here's what I'm doing. I am going to make a few slashes. I'm going to hopefully do this in one quick movement. Mm -hmm. Okay. You'll allow me. Okay. I want to cut his belt, and I also want to cut his jacket, and I want to pants him and have his pockets and pants fall down. I, okay, okay, okay. So I am, uh, I'll allow it, but, but we're going to treat that as a cold shot understandable <laughs> because you know reasons um, hey, hey, wait, am i in this next one now uh oh. you'll be right you'll be right out like this is this is a speaker acting out of initiative because of his weapon then it's going to be philip then you're going to go arno uh because just make sure here. <laughs> yeah um so it's minus 20 so you'll be at a plus 20 total to do this bullshit attack of yours Understandable. Okay. Yeah, Understandable. Sure absolutely. Do it up. Understandable. Absolutely. Let's go. Oh, let's and do of it. Of course. One thing wasn't at last oh time. My okay. God. That's six degrees of success. Okay. He is. Um. He. One sec here. Uh. He is going to try to dodge because you know. <clears throat> Go for it. No. Nope. Uh, so only three. So you're going to do. Yeah, you 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 de pants him. All right. And I'm going to uh, as a free action, just kind of lean in and say, um, if at all possible. Your jacket, your pockets, everything on the floor. And I don't ever want to see you here ever again. He says with a crossbow bolt sticking out of it. He mouth. he spends he spends his action taking off his jacket. Arno, what would you like to do? Are you rushing up now too? He's he would have first like looked towards the site of the gunshot and then seen the two elves scrabbling after the guy we have been <laughs> trying to get to stop gambling on shit. Yeah. He's going to investigate what's happening with that and why Mercurian has tried twice now to impale this man with a rapier and why Zillion is punching him and why Mercurian has a new crossbow bolt uh, basically in the same spot that the other one was. <laughs> like uh, yeah, right so you there. you rush up to see just all of this fluster clutter. What the bloody hell are you two doing? What all are you doing? Uh, hey, so you, you come up, you shoot that boat. You come up to no. see Mercurian has the bolts coming out of him. Philip is like pantsless and taking off his jacket. What, the, what is this? Baron Complicated. The crossbow behind his back. Uh, Arno is going to take his hands and pull. Kaziliana and Mercurian are basically, I would assume they've fallen over on the stairs trying to get at this guy who is trying to hit himself to start to oh, I'm on my feet. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, they're there. on their okay. feet. But... Okay, good. Arno is going to reach up and grab both of them by the napes of their fucking collars uh, and pull them closer. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Well, I attacked my charge, so I tried to, you know, end the fight and uh, Mercurian started seeing a little red. Uh, Mercurian, it's your go in the combat round. He is a grifter, a knave, an addict at best. He is swindling these fair people. And you're no. trying to kill him with your sword? Yes, I'm trying to kill him. As you've seen, I've done a mortal wound to his pants. And I'm going to uh, break off from Arnold. Um, my foil is still, Jesus of course, Christ. ready. I'm going to approach mm -hmm. this man who has taken off his jacket. I'm going to search him for any additional pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just like okay, just... the crossbow bolt still in your chest. I am a like... noble of Safri. <laughs> At this point, I am experienced. Yeah, now we know where the high elves got all their fucking stuff from fucking patting down people. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what kind of skill check do you want for patting him down? Perception. Yeah, sure. Yeah, please do it. <laughs> Not <laughs> plus zero. If you even try, and you don't get advantage on this, fuck you. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. All right. 
Let's go for it. Get to my elf eyes see. Uh, 32. Three successes. Uh, oh, God. Uh, yeah, your, your elf eyes managed to, to find that he has on him um, two sets of dice, some cards, uh, and then like some some bullets all right taking the bullets taking the cards taking the dice uh he's I... not letting you take the bullets he's like oh. he's like no like uh -huh. you can have my coins but uh i will be taking the rest thank you very much do you really believe that you're in a position to negotiate at the moment i'm going to i'm going to assault you <laughs> Uh, okay, so that was Mercurian's action. Ziliana, what are you doing? I'm just going to give Mercurian a look. Mercurian, it's not worth it. He's not a problem anymore. I'm going to lean down. I'm going to just lift this guy. Just, like, holding his hands behind his back. Just pick him up. Yeah, do you want to give me, like, uh, I'm guessing, uh, let's see here. What's a good, like, athletics for that? Totally. Sure, I will give you an athletics test. Uh, athletics are not as good as I'd like them to be. Uh, how heavy is this man? Is this just challenging? Uh, it'll it'll be challenging, but it's gonna be opposed. So. Uh, I see. I'm just going to try and pick him up and just escort him out of the building. Okay. Ooh, 63. I have a I have a very distinct feeling we're all going to be escorted out of the building shortly. <laughs> Uh, he deftly like hops out of the way. No, no, no! Look, you have you have you have found me. You have shamed me. You may have my coins, but I will not be taken out in this way. And as he's saying this, the like the the crowd has started to come up the stairs, and it's like, what the bleep is going on, Baron? Uh, you can tell that there's even some people from the rooms around you who are starting to open their doors. You can see von Strudeldorf's bodyguard is like looking out now. I reload my crossbow. Okay, uh, give not... me give me a range check. <laughs> Remember, no! it's, it's it's a range check to reload it. Well, like ballistic skill, right? So, yeah, for you it'll okay. be ballistic skill because you don't have crossbow. Yeah, you you yeah, you, you okay. reload. It's it's basically your action is to reload it. So you're sitting in the hall reloading your crossbow. I reload it. I'm gonna take like, come on, boy, and I basically walk in like I'm basically about to pop them one at close range and I Why? go and I go and I basically go all right what happened because he has a gun <laughs> had a gunshot someone shot Mercurial and I'd like to know what happened and I'm asking this um, to figure out like you know what's what what's going on because it'll determine. Well, you see, he accused me of cheating, and I have my honor yeah. as a man of Bretonia, so I had to defend my honor because he was lying and attempting to swindle me. So I simply shot a warning shot to keep him and his uh, whatever he demon infested elvishness off. And then then I came up here, and you see, I did not shoot him. In fact, if anyone here shot him, it was you because there was a crossbow bolt out of him. And clearly, I am holding nah, the nah, pistol, nah, but you nah, are nah, holding the crossbow. <laughs> But uh, McGurdian, uh, oh, someone shot you. <laughs> I know, it was so mysterious, Baron, but have no fear. I believe that our compere was just leaving. Uh, well, yes, uh, oh, wait, oh, wait. Wow. He, he kind of like wait, before he leaves. No, before he yeah. leaves, I want his gun. Oh, and his up. bullets. Wait, wait, this Stop that trying is not to happening. People. Oh, wrong <laughs> people. That's fucking trying to kill one of us. I want his shit. During, during this, he's literally slinking away. Like, he's yeah, spending his action, are, like, heading I'm out. I'm trying to I have if you're going to keep up this business. Uh, Arno, you can go. Are you going to, with you, because Philip is basically, like, sneaking off down one of the adjacent hallways. Are you going to, like, stand in front to to prevent your comrades from, like, ch making further chase? Or Arno is Arno. actually kind of livid at Baron at this point because he was was privy Why? to him helping him cheat. But that's, that's a separate issue. I did not start this. <laughs> I, I have the tapes. I have the goddamn tapes and I didn't start anything. <laughs> no, I was like, you man anything. loses you money. Just let, you just poured gunpowder on the ground and let it up to our firecracker, Mercurian. It's like, it's not my fault the elf got mad about gambling. 
<laughs> just like and like as as this is continuing, Philip is now like clearly like going out of a like second story window. Eh, you win some, you lose some. Out the front door, go. Leave um, now. And I think I think, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we are going to call it today. <laughs> there is one very important thing I want to do. Yes. So he's gone. We've got his money. Mm -hmm. First thing I'm doing. I assume yes. the crowd has mixed feelings about this. Oh no. I'm going to uh, walk up to the clown. How much money did you lose? Uh, I lost uh, 20 silver shillings total. Hand it to him. Gonna look at myself. How much money is in my hand right now? Uh, left over, you would have 29 silver shillings from, from discard. You have 29 silver shillings. Uh, and 65 brass pennies and two brass pennies that were coated and fake gold. Cool. <laughs> ah. No. Free drinks! <laughs> and that's where we're, that's where we're, that's where we're, that's, where we're, that's, where we're, that's absolutely where we're fucking cutting it. Okay. Oh, and, uh, and a quick thing, can I, can I get that bolt back? Jesus Christ, the what? The bolt back. The I bolt? Just... No, no, no. no. <laughs> We'll 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 talk to Mercurian's second meeting with with the doctor next week. That we are done. You can't just keep adding Marvel post credit scenes to these. This is it. We're done. We're love done. you all. I love you too. Uh, right, everybody. Everybody. Let's see I'm if <laughs> that, thanks everyone for coming for the second episode of Warhammer's Fantasy. Let's see if the credits work this time. They're probably still broken, so so sorry. Let's oh, I switch believe. over to I believe. Da, 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 da. Let's I believe see us. if they I'm work this time. Thing. I've got it. Okay. Okay. You've clicked the button. Whoa. Okay. There yeah. we go. It sure and is the screen. It, it sure it's is showing screen. nothing. There it goes. Oh, Let's thank see if you it for watching, anything. subbies. Well, Great Gun King. Gordon. We had no what? subscribers. Mask Penguin. Whoa. Yes. There's Neuroclain. Everyone loves laws. I have the new things they share. Bluehurst. Don't paladin, I sure love this. Don't tell that old paladin about what we did today. Yeah, exactly, right? The great gun Very disappointed in his charge. The madhouse. Yes. Mindless idiots. That's how I feel right now. You know, yes, I, thank I, you. I, there might yes. be some serendipity there. But who yeah. really, we couldn't have done it without the tech uh, race engineer. Uh, yeah. I mean, we've got literal otaku Dyer's with us. So uh, what can we do? Uh, so as we end things off, everyone, uh, sorry if your name didn't get on this credits thing. For some reason, it, I don't know why it doesn't get every single person. So super sorry about that. If you we loved tried. what you saw here, you can always visit us at warhams.tv. If you really yeah. love the show, after the first five episodes are done, uh, basically we do a kind of time gate thing to go up on the YouTube channel. So if you want to support us on the show, Warhands.tv will show you where you can support us on Patreon. You can catch up on the podcasts, all that stuff. We also put up the videos up on there once they are uploaded. Of course, uh, it will also send you to the link to my YouTube channel where we upload all the VODs uh, for this. Normally, Warhams 40k takes a week for them to get up, but Warhams Fantasy is, comes up as soon as I get them edited. Along with all the podcast stuff, which I'm still setting up, uh, I think uh, we're just waiting for approvals or some things because, you know, new podcasts take a while to get kind of processed. But I think the first episode is up on some places. But yeah, love you all very much. You've all been badass today. Thank you all so much here. Thank yes. you all to the amazing players here uh, who've been kicking ass so far. And we will all see you next time. Please follow our socials when you saw them, the names of the things. Love you all. Ooh, and yeah. bye. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bye. 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 A little the while day. longer before everything is normal. The dark city. The the dark city. city. Crossbow in the chest. Oh, you and me are going to have some discussions, mister. Oh no, am I grounded? Yes. <laughs>